Egypt, champion for the cause of Christ. Before the foundation of the world, you have been invested with power from on high to wield the mightiest weapon known to man. Be forewarned that the instrument you will be handling cuts both ways, so you will be expected to become more than familiar with your weapon. You will be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The opposition has already infiltrated the camp, so you are commanded to study, to show yourself approved unto your commander-in-chief. Gird up your loins, lace up your footgear. The hour is at hand for spiritual warfare. You will receive your instructions from the Lord of hosts, moving in the unlimited power of the mighty Holy Ghost. As you may notice, there is no armor to cover your back parts, so there will be no need to turn around or retreat. You will only move forward in wisdom and courage, for you are mighty man of valor, Greek words, Stratiotis, common soldier, champion for the cause of Christ. battle will be fought on bumpy terrain from the neck up. Attacks may be subtle for the most part, but some, however, will come with blatant aggressiveness and very frequent. Be on guard, for the enemy will take full advantage of a lazy, weak-minded soul. You have not been given the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Do not, I repeat, do not become entangled with the cares of this world. You are disciples of a... Okay, welcome to the Bible Says What? <laughs> hey, how you doing, uh, Minister Andrew? I am great, Pastor. How you doing? Today? You had a working day? <laughs> oh, yeah. It was all day. Man. All day. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had to come and be, and be with me. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. At least I did I did submit that I was tired. Yeah. I'm still yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, but I know how it is. I've heard you say you're tired before. But when, when it comes down to work in the field, yeah, you say you go, it's like they got all the mag, they all the mag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep, going, keep going anyway. But it's good to uh, be with you once again uh, uh, for teaching. Uh, you know, like, like I said, and you had a, a good lesson I heard yesterday. Uh, you didn't Amen. get a chance to record that, but right. next week hopefully we'll be back on with that. Amen. But it's just teaching every everywhere. So Amen. Amen. it's almost like we can't get to <laughs> no time. Always teaching. Yes, 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 yes. And so we're glad again to. Uh, to, to be with you, uh, uh, Minister, you want to cast through prayer? Sure. And uh, first, before you even start prayer, we want to let you know that we are here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Tuesday from 7 to 9 p.m., Thursday and Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. Well, of course, we deal with uh, biblical topics, the heresies, false doctrines, cults, the black Hebrew Israelites, nation of Islam, world Islam, uh, word, faith, anything that is a biblical topic. And also the number that you can call in is 248 six zero seven zero six one one that's two four eight six zero seven zero six one one and uh as we get started of course i'm gonna start with prayer so lord heavenly father we just want to thank you for this day Lord, we want to uh uh pray for all those who are out there lord who listen and who take notes lord we pray for those who are saved and those who are not lord we pray that the holy spirit goes forth and prick their heart and calls them to come in and become uh, followers of Jesus Christ. But we also thank you for your son who came and died on the cross for our sins. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who teaches us, who reproves us, who seals us in all things. Lord, we also thank you for drawing us all out and giving us the gospel and giving us a way to have eternal salvation. Lord, we do all of these things in your son Jesus Christ, most holy and precious name. Amen. Because you can talk a little bit uh, about maybe about your day, okay. and I give me a chance well, to do the shares. Here. Of course, uh, well, yesterday I was teaching on tongues, and you know, saying we had a good uh, we had a good lesson over there, and a lot of people, you know, saying did get good information about you know saying what tongues are used for, and that it is a spiritual gift, and that it's not something that um, you can. Uh, go into an upper room and tarry and learn it's a gift that god gives you either he gives you the gift or he doesn't and that uh that gift is used for breaking um boundaries language boundaries when it comes to preaching the gospel also today of course we went out and we preached the gospel of jesus christ in the streets to all those who were believers and those who weren't of course warning them of uh things to come such as the mark of the beast and the world systems and syncretism all of these things that starting to come together and you know be a burden on the people so you know it, it's always you know a, a, a good day when you can get together and teach the word or go out and preach the gospel because that is part of the great commission that is what we should all be doing on a daily basis or as much 
as possible. And definitely, you know, saying getting into the church and learning what the gospel is, learning to defend the gospel, and therefore going forth out and making uh, new disciples so that they can go forth and do the same thing. You know? And it, it's, it's just part of it. It's, and it's always good to uh, get back and study and learn, you know, saying to contend. As we were reading yesterday, you know, we were showing different information on how different people uh, will interject and put words into the Bible and make the Bible say something that it does not say. So, you know, when, when we do these classes, we do them for the edification of the people. We didn't do it. We don't do it because we're looking to be seen right. or looking for somebody to see us. We do it because the Holy Spirit gives us the unction to go forth and keep contending for the faith, which is the same thing we're going to do tonight. Then we're going to do it again next Tuesday. We're going to do it again next Thursday. And we're going to do it, you know, saying God willing until Jesus Christ comes back Amen. or hey, or we go to be with him. Either way it go, that's the job, you know, so. It's, it's been a good day, fruitful mm -hmm. day. And it was cold out there. It was 30 degrees today, but hey. So that they can go forth and do we, uh, the same thing. We went out and we preached the gospel. And I think the, the information that Pastor has for you all tonight will be great information. And of course, you know, hey, when it comes to false doctrine, we we on cult patrol. That's right. It is our true. job to give the people the information it is not our job to sit on the information it's not our job to fear those who are out there mm -hmm. it's our job to keep on giving you warning mm -hmm. when people don't give you warning can you imagine if the, if the house was on fire and i didn't give you warning you why didn't you tell me the house was on right. fire it's the same thing when it comes to the gospel why didn't you tell me these people were false teachers somebody needs to come forth and tell the people and don't just let people stand by and it's and it's always easy right for you to go out and say, hey, look at the Jehovah Witnesses. Why? Because they're a peaceful cult. Mm -hmm. But then a lot of people don't want to go out and teach against world Islam because they're violent. Mm -hmm. Not all of them. But it, it teaches a different type of thing. And, and so the black Hebrew Israelites are the same way. They they, they, they are, when it comes to uh, their, their grammar, it's vulgar. When it comes to their actions and how they try to talk to you, it, you know what I'm saying, it's bogus. But listen. It's your job to defend and contend for the faith. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. That's the job. Amen. What does he say? I lead you as what? Mm -hmm. uh, sheep to the slaughter. Sheep to the slaughter. Yeah. Sheep. Yeah. So, hey. so that means everybody ain't bringing you roses. No, they're not. Right, right. And pastor, it's not about us. It's not. Right, right, right. Uh -huh. And that's what we got to get in our mind. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, he, he says that the, the, the harvest is plenty, but the labels are few. Mm -hmm. Many, many shout, oh, Jesus, we love you. But then, you know what I'm saying, there come a dividing line between the, the, the compromising Christian mm -hmm. and the confessing Christian. Mm -hmm. And I know you'll get a chance to go over that definition again uh, to, 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 tonight because it's something that we're going to see. But uh, um, we're going to get ready to get started and, again, just tell you about the, the, the books. And one book to really come to mind tonight with the topic, mm -hmm. uh, Selling Something That Nobody Needs. And, and why I say that is because I come out of a, a doctrine that was similar to the Hebrew Israelite. Uh, but was exactly the same in error. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they use scripture and we use scripture. So don't be um, don't be fooled or, or, or naive just because people come to you with a whole lot of scripture. We believe in all scriptures, right, Pastor? All but 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 we believe them based on Second uh, Timothy three sixteen and seventeen. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna we're gonna go there to, tonight. Amen. So I won't quote it right now. But we believe it in, 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 based on that. Because Satan, you understand, would try to use the scriptures out of context. Amen. And us as, as Christians, we have to be able to use discernment and to know, you understand, mm -hmm. what does the... Well, matter of fact, that's how tight it is. The Bible says, why? That's right. <laughs> when they come. And if it's us, you should be questioning it. The Bible said, why? That's right. <laughs> right, right. And be good for readings. So we're going to go a little bit farther. Oh, I think it's the press is where we want to go to. Uh, uh, go back a little bit. Pastor. Oh, okay. Because we're going to use some stuff. So here it is. The Fair Use Copyright mm -hmm. Disclaimer oh, under Section you, 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for the fair use mm -hmm. for purposes such as criticism, mm -hmm. comment, news reporting, teaching, mm -hmm. scholarship, and research. Fair use is mm -hmm. a permitted 
by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips. Mm -hmm. The balance is the balance in favor of fair use. So, so we, Pastor, you're not trying to sell me. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, we're not trying to sell this to anybody. That's we right. do this for educational mm -hmm. reasons. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. We're not looking for any funds on this. And I'm glad you said it because I'm using some of their. Clips, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You want the scriptures, Second Timothy three sixteen? Huh? No, we go. We gonna go to it later, honey. And that is my wife. I'm calling honey over there. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Pastor. We we in thirteen one. All right. Ah, uh, punishment for apostates. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen. This is something that some of these guys should know, right? Mm -hmm. They love the Old Testament. It says, if there arises among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he gives you a sign or a wonder. And the sign or the wonder comes to pass, of which he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods, which you have not known, and let us serve them. You shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Now, I want you to keep the passage just read here in mind of the I-U-I-C. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how they're growing. Look how what he said in this coming to pass. Look how they're going to, to other nations and whatnot. But go, go ahead, Pastor. Right. Amen. Uh, verse 4. It says, You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. You shall serve him and hold fast to him. <clears throat> But that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death mm -hmm. because he has spoken in order to turn you away from the Lord your God mm -hmm. who brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of bondage mm -hmm. to entice you from the way in which the Lord your God commanded you to walk. Mm -hmm. So you shall put away the evil from your midst. Mm -hmm. If your brother, the son of your mother, your son or your daughter, the wife of your bosom, or your friend who is it who is your own soul secretly entices you saying let us go serve other gods which you have not known neither you nor your fathers I was waiting to, I was trying to wait till you got to the period but don't let you let oh, that's the, the comment it says of the gods of the people which are all around you near to you or far from you from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth okay well we're coming here then right. so now I've got, wait, oh yeah yeah so in other words uh, if your brother that's why me and Pat, you hear me and uh, Pastor Andrew stop. We, uh, no, um, uh, not nice, sir. Uh, you're not my brother because right. according to Scripture, you understand, who is my brother or my sister or my mother? Them that do the will oh, of God. Amen. If you're changing Scriptures about G the deity of Jesus Christ, who he is and his person or his works, you're not my brother. You're not. If, if you pervert scripture in any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Now, now we understand sometimes it's a difference between someone thinking, you know, that, that the scripture, you know, mm -hmm. but 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 many of these guys, when you're in the teaching role, you know what you're teaching. Exactly. And you're doing it under man, you understand, mm -hmm. a, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Amen. So you can't be our brother. So don't, 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 I got my out. And when you come with that brother thing, it's like, Pastor, I'll give you an example. Sometimes in business, folks will come and they got business and, oh yeah, I'm a Christian. With business, that don't mean nothing. No. I would love for it to be, right. but people you wolves coming in those disguises, mm -hmm. you understand? Know and the very one that say he's a brother, that's the one that you got a problem with. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know when he, you know uh, uh, about about stuff that you didn't hire him to do around right now. How many times we done ran that out? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So so we always have to, to 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 be to be wise. And so and again they. Well, I don't want to jump the gun. But again, they're trying to, to get you to go after other gods. And what I mean by that, if I try to get you to focus on the skin color, mm -hmm. I got you going after another guy. Another guy. Mm -hmm. We have no Good skin person. color doctrine mm -hmm. in, as far as the Bible goes. Mm -hmm. And if anybody wants to challenge that, look up the word black in the Bible. Look at the context in mm -hmm. which it's used, and you will always see that it's dealing mm -hmm. with famine or sickness. Yes, yes, yes. Verse 8. It says, You shall not consent to him or listen to him, nor shall your eye pity him, mm -hmm. nor shall you spare him or conceal him. Wait a minute, Pastor, but, but see, y'all y'all see y'all ain't tolerant. But what you say, I, my eye shouldn't even pity him? Shouldn't even pity him. The whole thing is this, and this is the trick of the day, the devil, mm -hmm. to get everybody to, to be complacent and say, well, you know, I don't want to go against them. I was out witnessing the day, and the guy told me, hey, listen, 
You can't judge me. Uh, yeah, John seven twenty four. Yeah, I can. The mm -hmm. Bible tells me to judge. Mm -hmm. Did you not just say that you was a believer, but you standing there smoking marijuana and mm -hmm. telling me like it's okay? God made this. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I used to smoke marijuana too. Mm -hmm. But then when I really got saved, God mm -hmm. had me put it down. Mm -hmm. So don't keep trying to tell me that you with God and this is from the earth. Listen, mm -hmm. he, wine is made too, but mm -hmm. you can be a drunkard, right? And, and, and Pastor, it's mighty funny that you said that because in one of the clips that we're going to use mm -hmm. is that one of the members said that one of the bishops, mm -hmm. one of the leaders and all, say, oh, you can smoke. Oh. See, regardless oh. of what they got in their they outline, right. behind the scenes, so people say a lot of things in the front, right. but behind the, the, the scenes, right. so you don't see that, all the pretty little flowers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Go ahead, Pastor. All right. Uh, verse 9, it says, but you shall surely kill him your hand shall be first against him to put him to death, and afterward the hand of all the people. Pastor, you want to explain that because we don't want nobody saying that we can't go out and kill no, no, no right. uh, Jehovah's Witness, go out and kill no. No, uh, definitely but, but not. But what I got from it, and I want you to explain okay. what I got from it, in the Old Testament, God was showing you he was serious, he was serious. about his word. Exactly. <laughs> Real serious. Yeah, listen, go ahead. did they not have rock parties back then? Yes! Oh, okay. So, and even in context, we know that this was... Mm -hmm directed to Israel, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. But it don't change in the New Testament, uh -huh. besides the killing part, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Right. But you're supposed to put them people out, mark mm -hmm. them out, and stay away from them if they're teaching false doctrine. The, the Word of God is our weapon. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's what we use. using. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He's going to mm -hmm. kill them. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he is. Pastor, I, was, I want it to be nice. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they got part no in a second to have no pity. <laughs> That's right. This is what God is going to do. So, hey, the lake of fire, you, you, you think it's a joke? It's not a joke, Amen. and it will be coming. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, it says, And you shall stone him with stones until he dies, because he sought to entice you away from the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Wait a minute, Pastor. Wait a minute. He sought to do what to you? And he Did sought to entice. Pastor, aren't you, you a pastor? Yes, yes I am. Uh huh. I'm a pastor too. Yeah, now we ain't called entice. You call me Robert. Just uh, don't call, call me late for dinner. I know. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But. But we got a clip we're going to show you later on with a pastor standing. Well, I won't say he's the pastor, but I, but I believe he is based on how it was going. Okay. Standing at the door, allow them to come in with pamphlets in their hands. Mm -hmm. He at the door and go in and pass them out and distribute them amongst the congregation. And on their way out, they shake hands and leave them a stack pile. That is just ridiculous. We're going to show it to you. Go ahead, Pastor. Okay. Uh, verse 11 it says so all Israel shall hear and fear and not uh, not again do such wickedness as this among you mm -hmm. if you hear someone in one of your cities which the Lord your God gives you to dwell in saying corrupt men have have gone out from among you and entice the inhabitants of their city saying let us go and serve other gods which you have not known then you shall inquire, search out, and ask diligently. Then you shall inquire, search out, and ask diligently. And if it is indeed true and certain that such an abomination was committed among you, you shall surely strike the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword. So, oh, oh I didn't want to cut you off, Pastor. Uh-huh. Well, we had to come on. I know okay. where I'm at. So, in other words, Pastor, I don't have to be there. Mm -mm. You under the label of Christian. If I hear foolishness or something that's being said contrary to doctrine over there, the Bible commands me to come against that. Come Check against it out. That's right. Look for the evidence and see what's going on. Now, yeah. I know how to be in that. So I may not come in. I can make, can't come in the building and put you out your building. Right. But I sure can call it out publicly and, and, and whatnot. That's what the Bible tells us to do. Constantly. Mark them out. Mark them out, Pastor. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Call their names, right? Mm -hmm. And I was right here where was I at? Uh, the comma at the edge of the sword. Right, the edge of the sword. Utterly destroying it, all that is in it and its livestock with the edge of the sword. Don't leave nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Verse 16. And you shall gather all its plunder into the middle of the street and completely burn with fire the city and all its plunder for the Lord your God. It shall be a heap forever. It shall not be built again. Mm. Verse 17. So none of the so none of the accused things shall remain in your hand that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show you mercy. 
have compassion on you and multiply you just as he swore to your fathers because you have listened to the voice of the Lord your God to keep all his commandments which I command you today to do what is right in the eyes of the Lord your God. And I hear him. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I heard him too. Go ahead. I, I hear him. Yes. See that? Commandments. And I agree 100% with you mm -hmm. that, that the, the, the word read that is commandments. Mm -hmm. And we do believe in keeping God's commandments. Right. But, Pastor, I'm going to let you go ahead because I, I got a little sneak. I'm going to put in that later on. I'm going to put a little sneak in there. Mm -hmm. So then, when the IUIC is out there lying to you, mm -hmm. and they doing that, and all y'all swear that y'all Israel, uh -huh. and all y'all swear y'all keep the commandments, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Where y'all rocks and stones at? <laughs> Where you firing? Uh -huh. Because we're finding out that these guys have been lying. That's right. And, and been extorting money mm -hmm. and doing all types of nonsense. Mm -hmm. And I bet won't none of y'all stand up and go against them. Mm -hmm. We we gonna we gonna show where the bishop who puts himself on the plane of the king and, of the king. When, and when I say when you say king for me I think of King Jesus. That's all. I'm <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, uh, Pastor, we were through here, right? Yes. Okay. So let's get ready to jump in it. So the, the title, the lie embedded. In, I didn't say in the truth. Right. In the truth. Because, you know, I've been in the truth, Pastor, right. a long time. In, in the they, truth. they love to tell you how long they've been in the, the truth. The truth. Right, 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 right. But we need to find out is your the truth, the, the truth. The, the truth. <laughs> is the truth John 14, 16. <laughs> right. and, we, we, and we know it's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when we start here, let's see where they true started from. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, I didn't make the chart up. <laughs> oh, sure did. And I'm not going to go through all of this and whatnot, but as you see at the top, you got Abba Bivens. Mm -hmm. And, well, maybe if I point this way, because they, they can see where I'm pointing at. You got Abba Bivens. And then you got folks that was up under him. And notice all these break away from the truth. From the truth. From the truth. <laughs> right. And then finally you get over to where we're going to talk about tonight, uh, uh, Nathaniel, which comes out of uh, the house of David. And there you get the IUIC. But notice all other folks, but we're really not going. But all of them, even though they don't agree, one thing they agree with is that you got to be Israel and Deuteronomy 28. <laughs> they, all, they, all they, they all agree on that. But, it, but they, what they can't agree, because everybody can, it can only be one head Negro in charge. That's right. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go a little farther. Israel united in Christ. What's in the name? And there you see Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. Bishop Nathaniel is the top official in the IUIC web bio i've been in this truth for over 20 years and learned at the feet of the seven elders of israel mm -hmm. i've seen many things in this walk great things and bad things but they all played a part in molding me into who i am today i've been world scholars confounded by this truth i've seen gangs of drug dealers either change or moved out of the way i've seen men on the bottom rise and become Unrecognizable, unrecognizable to who they once were. That, that's good. We saw that in the nation of Islam too, didn't we? Didn't we? Right. We seen it in many different organizations. You're nice uh -huh. organizations. Well, I've seen it in many different cults. <laughs> that, that's what I've seen. Many that's different why I got passion to keep me on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let, let's go a little farther. Uh -huh. It says, I've seen greed. Oh, I'm sure he has. Lust. Hate and money tear a movement apart, or so some thought. Not in the truth. Yeah, why would that happen in the truth? <laughs> <laughs> this movement is according to prophecy. Uh oh. Uh oh. It can be stopped. One man falls and no, two. No, it can't be stopped. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, right. It can't be stopped. One man falls and two will rise in his place. The Most High used me to establish Israel united in Christ. Now we know where it came from. That's right. He used what? Him, right? Uh, Supposedly. Right? Supposedly, right, Supposedly. Right, right, okay. right. I say Satan used him. And Robert, how can you make the statement? Anytime you deviate or twist who Jesus Christ is or take away from his deity, the Most High ain't did that. Question. He may allow it. He used him, right? Uh -huh. That's what he said? Uh -huh. So what happens to the body of Christ? What happens to the body of Christ where Christ is the head? Yeah. He didn't give us nothing in prophecy yeah. talking about Nathaniel was going to be on his way. We go back to Matthew, uh, come on, Robert, 6, 18, 16, 16, 18, where Jesus tell you about upon this rock, I'll be on my church. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, 
Now we got another person. And hold on. What, what does it say over in Galatians? I marvel. That, oh, I got that. In. Oh, you got that. The, you know, I want. I want to okay. jump the gun. I want to jump the gun. It says the Most High used me to establish Israel united in Christ. Mm -hmm. But this movement is not about any organization, but rather the resurrection of a nation. Wait a minute. I told you you gonna wake the up. The resurrection of a nation. Where's he get? Where's he getting this from? First of all, if God sent him, which we know, mm -hmm. according to the word of God, he could not have sent him because there is no resurrection of the nation. The nation will be drawn back together and will be saved, mm -hmm. but they're not gonna be resurrected. Mm -hmm. And then this doesn't happen until the tribulation period. So he kind of early. Told you he was going to wake up. He kind of early <laughs> for resurrecting the nation. <laughs> now, we understand that Israel will go back to the land in unbelief. Uh -huh. But they don't. The tribulation is built to make them uh -huh. believe. Uh -huh. Can I get Matthew chapter 2? Oh, you can get all you want, Pastor. Okay, all right. <laughs> See, he didn't, he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> I told you, I knew when he started saying what they were saying, he was going to wake up. Matthew what? Chapter 23. Matthew 23. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to verse uh, 37. 23, 37. Uh -huh. There you go. All right. It says this, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets. Who is Jerusalem? That's Israel, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to mm -hmm. gather your children together as hens, gather her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate. For I say to you, you shall see me no more till you say, blessed is he who comes in the names of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Has Israel said blessings? No, who come no. We ain't talking about so-called. No, we're talking about no so-called. We're not talking about no apostles. Mm -hmm. The tribulation is put in place mm -hmm. to drive Israel mm -hmm. where? Mm -hmm. Back to the Messiah in whom they crucified. Mm -hmm. Can we get John chapter you, you, one? You, Pastor, you can get as many as you want. Okay, all right. John one. Mm -hmm. John, John one. Start about verse nine. Verse nine. Mm -hmm. And it says this, that was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world and the world was made through him and the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. Mm -hmm. But as many as received him to them, he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name. Mm -hmm. So Israel didn't believe in his name, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Now, and Pascal, real quick, don't, don't lose honest. your thought. I just want to get it where I got first, right there in 10. Mm -hmm. If Joseph was their, was Jesus' father, mm -hmm. biological father, of the land, like they proclaim, mm -hmm. Jesus could not have uh, made the world. No. Because he would have been a mere man. man. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into more detail later. Go ahead, Pastor. That's right. Mm -hmm. So then, too, what we see here is what, what is known as the postponement theory. Oh. Right? God has put Israel aside, mm -hmm. then what comes in? Mm -hmm. The church, which mm -hmm. is built on who? Mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. So how did this man just tell a bald-faced lie and just say mm -hmm. he was sent personally mm -hmm. to resurrect Israel? Joseph Smith, uh, 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 Charles T. Ruff, all Charles, of them got that same... <laughs> they all got that same lie. And God, and listen, God already warned us that all these liars would come. Mm -hmm. And we would know them what? By that fruit. And how do we examine them? By the word of God. But he, if he, you don't line up with this, then we already know that you are. Uh -huh. But here's the problem though, Pastor. Uh -huh. And not all, so I don't want nobody to take it away to say, say it all because this is not a tech because if you go by color, I, mine is dark skin. Yeah. Right. right. But most time, and we, what we see is we got to have what's going on. It don't matter whether they was a liar, we need our own. Right, like you're talking about the, Joe, the yeah. uh, Joseph Smith or whatnot. The right. same thing with Barack Obama. Yeah. Well, I, President, yes, the man in, in, in intelligent, all that I give it to. But when you come contrary to the scripture, and folks say, yeah, but, but he, I'm first president. So in other words, you accept the, the Antichrist as long as he black. Yeah, they will. My thing is this. Yeah, Barack was doing what Barack was doing. Barack also mm. legalized homosexual yes. marriages. Yes. So if he goes against God, I go against him. It right. don't matter. And if then you go against Jesus Christ, you know, regardless of what he said with his mouth, when you twist the scripture, you're going against him. That's right. I have to stand against you. That's right. That's mm -hmm. what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Where, Where else would I want to go? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Yeah, um, 
No, we can go back to the to okay. clip. I know it's going to keep coming to yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, yeah, we finished this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Now, keep those things in mind. Resurrection Nation, he right. says. He says he's the resurrect. The, and, the and he ain't finished, Pastor. Oh, okay. And, and, and just for the sake, because I want you, because on one video, he said how people can go out there and cut and paste mm -hmm. when he goes to defending Bishop K-9. But, but you can go to his website, and I'm, I'm going to put it up on the... In the on the on the page in one second, so you can go to Axis website and you can see the word right there. All I did was took it straight from his website. Pass. You want to go somewhere else? Yes. Come on, let's go to the Old Testament. They love the Ooh. Old Testament, right? Oh yeah. Let's yeah. go to Ezekiel chapter thirty-six. Ezekiel thirty-six. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel, there we go, right there. Thirty-six. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, once well, start at verse sixteen. Verse sixteen. Because you know, Saint Ezekiel was, was a great mm -hmm. prophet, right? Mm -hmm. And he had a lot to say about Israel, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see in this verse: mm -hmm. Is it talking about any man who's gonna come in <laughs> and resurrect the nation? Hey, right? he woke y'all. He right. <laughs> says this: Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, "Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own ways and deeds." To me, their ways was like the uncleanness of a woman Ooh. in her customary impurity. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I poured out my fury on them for the blood they had shed on the land and for the idols with which they defiled it, had <gasps> defiled it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, he so wait a minute, this wasn't uh, uh, Edom and Esau. No, this, this Israel did this. Is Israel. This. Okay, Amen. Ahead, Pastor. Verse 18, therefore, I poured out my fury on them for the blood they had shed on the land and for the idols with which they had defiled it. So I scattered them among the nations and they were dispersed throughout the countries. I judged them according to their ways and their deeds. When they came to the nations, wherever they went, they profaned my holy name when they said, when they said of them, these are the people of the Lord and yet they have gone out of his land. Mm -hmm. But I had concern for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations wherever they went. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, I do not do this for your sake, O house of Israel, but for, the, for my holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the nations wherever you went. Mm -hmm. And I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, mm -hmm. when I am hollowed in you before their eyes. Wait, that hasn't happened yet. No, no, no. Wait. Oh, this is David calling, but okay. And, uh, where it says the Lord, when I have hollowed you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the nations, gather you out of all countries. Who, hold, hold on, who did he say? He says, for I will take you, you mm -hmm. from among the nations, gather you out of all countries and bring you into your own land. Mm -hmm. Then, then I will sprinkle clean water on you mm -hmm. and, shall be and you shall be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Are they still over in Israel having gay parades and all of that? That's, that's your right. Oh, okay. So this, this definitely hasn't happened yet. Verse 26. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. that, when they get the Holy Spirit. But this ain't happened yet. Let's keep right. going. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. So now we, we see that he's going to take them out. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to be, they're going to get the spirit. Then they're going to be able to walk and keep the statutes and commandments because mm -hmm. they got the Holy Spirit. But when did this happen? Mm -hmm. This don't happen to the millennium period. Verse 28, then you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. You shall be my people and I will be your God. I will deliver you from all your uncleanness. No, Nathan, your pastor, you read that, right? No, 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 no. Just say I. Oh. I. <laughs> so, I not will, him. Not him. <laughs> not he. Not the IUIC. That's as bad. That's as bad as Je Jehovah Witnesses saying they the 144,000. It's just a blatant lie. It says I will deliver you from all your uncleanness. I will call. I will call for the grain and multiply it and bring no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of your trees and increase your fields so that you need never again bear the reproach of famine among the nations. Mm -hmm. Then, 
you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good, and you will loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and your abominations. Not for your sake do I do this, says the Lord God. Let it be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Wait a minute. Now, he even went all the way to the millennium period, said all of this, and then telling them, listen, you ain't getting no glory. Mm -hmm. Why are they trying to walk around like they're in glory yeah, right now? Yeah, yeah. You won't have the spirit of God. You're not in the millennium period. Mm -hmm. And they're not the Israel. <laughs> and they're not the real Israel. <laughs> Verse 32. Not for your sake do I do this, says the Lord God. Let it be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God. On the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities, I will also enable you to do... Wait, wait, look, look. Verse 33. Thus says the Lord God. On the, on the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities, I will also enable you to dwell in the cities and the ruins shall be rebuilt. The desolate land shall be tilled instead of lying desolate in the sight of all who pass by. So they will say, this land that was desolate has become like the Garden of Eden, and the wasted, desolate, and ruined cities are now fortified and inhabited. Then the nations which, I, which are left all around you shall know that I, the Lord, have rebuilt the ruined places and planted what was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it and will do it. Thus says the Lord God, I will also let the house of Israel inquire of me to do this for them. I will increase their men like a flock, like a flock offered as holy sacrifices, like the flock at Jerusalem on its feast days. So shall the ruined cities be filled with flocks of men. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. Postponement theory. What are you talking about? <laughs> they don't get none of this until <laughs> right at the millennium period. <laughs> Boom, and then they go in. There ain't no, there ain't no uh, <laughs> prophecy of Nathaniel, the IUIC coming around. He is bad as the Jehovah Witnesses and the Mormons and everybody else. See, see when good teachers go on, I can put my feet up on the table. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. And then if we really want to go into it, mm -hmm. we can go into all of chapter 37. <laughs> because that lets you know too yes. and, and points out plenty of detail. Amen. Ahead, okay. Go ahead. That's good though, Pastor. See, 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 that's what I'm saying. See, and that's what the body of Christ should be catching. The, the bells should be going on. Bing, 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 right. bing. You ain't gotta be no pastor. Be a good Bible not. student. That's right. And you will see that this man is bogus and a liar. Mm -hmm. Now this is him continuing. Bishop Nathaniel, continue. He says this. My mission. My mission is to take this truth on a higher level. Not that truth. Right. This truth, uh -huh. which is a lie. Uh -huh. On a higher level. And as professional as possible. Oh, he's conning with it. I, I didn't add that to because it would just be too long. How they take and put with the marriages and they show the pieces and that, that clip they got that they put in you bed on TV. Wake up, Israel, wake up. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're doing marketing. Yeah. yeah Where yeah, they learn yeah. all of this stuff? The devil, the, the Bible says that, that, that the serpent was more. Um, Cunning, cunning mm -hmm. than any beast of the field. I was telling Pastor, he Farrakhan number two. <laughs> yeah, there you go, uh -huh. right there. Uh -huh. Good, good, Pastor. The, uh, Bishop, the false prophet, Nathaniel. Yeah. <laughs> it says, my mission is to take this truth on a higher level and a profession and as professional as possible. I struggled in teaching this truth for a long time, and one day, brothers and sisters sought me out, guided by the Spirit of the Almighty. That's a lie. <laughs> it might, they might have been guided by a spirit, but it was, but it was but a it was misguided not. spirit. <laughs> it wasn't the Almighty because, guess what? You would have been leading to Jesus. Exactly. Uh -huh. The Holy Spirit is not going to lead you to nobody that's lying. Uh -huh. It says, they wanted to know what I know, see what I see in the Word of God. Uh -huh. To make a difference, to make a change, I told them like I tell you all. You want the Most High to use you, come learn, but now that the Lord will try you, he will make a man out of you, a woman out of you, that that will do our Israelite ancestors proud. Wait a minute, what happened to pleasing God? Uh, what happened to pleasing Jesus Christ? He was saying, my servant, well done. You you worried about pleasing dead people? Hold on. You ain't seen nothing in here about Jesus, did you? No, yo, I, you, 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 right. <laughs> there you and go. I think it's one more. He ain't finished yet. Ah. It says, like I said, the Most High will, will try you, test you, to make you into an Israelite indeed. 
That is not the message of Jesus. No. This is not the gospel. No. It says, but if you, but if you ain't built for this, you too weak, too evil, then leave. Goodbye. Hide behind a computer and set up your own thing. You must be a living example of the rest of our people. I won't say it's easy, but what revelation is ever easy? Not revolution. Easy? No, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. But what revolution is ever easy? Uh -huh. Where is this promoted in the Bible? That's right. I'm talking about it. The Bible says I'll lead you up as sheep among the wolves. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. So it's our job. To go forth and preach the gospel, mm -hmm. he, so he sounded like the Crusaders. He gonna yeah. make his own revolution. Yeah, that's what he said. Let's go, let's finish him off. It says this revolution is transforming <laughs> boys into men, deadbeats into fathers, and players into husbands. This revolution changes the black and Hispanic man into the Israelite leader he is meant to be. Sound like a cult to me? Unbiblical. Unbiblical. <laughs> Not the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> At all, and that go to the link to the uh, uh, Israelite Israel United, in, excuse me, Israel United dot org, and uh, that's for the bio, bio page, Elder Nathaniel. Bio. Well, listen too, when we get a chance, we want to find out how much they sell them outfits for. Oh, they got I all didn't... range of outfits and everything. I, I was trying to cut because the more I tell you how the old can lead me to, to the scriptures. Right. I was oh, trying yeah. to do everything. Yeah, <laughs> right, the right. The old kitchen right. sink and everything. Now, now, Pastor, we don't have to read all this because you pretty much got it. And I'll give you, you a chance to, to breathe on this here. So this is a little bit more uh, from another page. Well, it's all from their website. Read. Let's read. Oh, oh go ahead. Sorry, you know how I get well, go ahead. It says, our mission, a message from oh, Bishop. Right, right, the first part is who oh, we were. Oh, I got that from that page. Oh, who we are. <laughs> Our mission, a message from Bishop Nathaniel. Israel United in Christ, Inc. was founded in 2003. Our goal is to change the hearts and minds of our people. Yes. Blacks and Hispanics must learn the truth that they are the biblical 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Okay, Pastor, let's stop right here a minute. So, what you have is another, is not a, well, I know, depend on which one you're talking. We know it ain't a Christian organization. Definitely not. It definitely ain't. It sounds more like a, a activist, a black activist group to me. It is. Who's who? Matter of fact, I got it. I don't. I, I'm jumping the, the witch come, but they're using the the Bible as a hook. That's right. To, 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 to pull Christians to get some of these and some of these. That's right. Right. Mm. Go ahead, well, and and mm. then too. All right. So wait, he's going to teach them that they are the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. Can I get Revelation chapter 7? You can get all you want. I just, I want to know how he teaching them that they serve. What you say, Revelation 1? Chapter 7. Uh, Revelation 7 and... Start at verse 1. Because we going to see, you know, when when the twelve. Now, God said he was going to be the one that bring these people together, right? Uh -huh. All right, well, let's see what this Unless is. he said he got yeah, he might he might <laughs> say anything at this point. It says, After these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea, or on any tree. Now, let's set this up. This is during tribulation. Mm -hmm. This is Revelation chapter 7. This is during the tribulation period. Verse 2. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed. 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Now, let me question, 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 question. Do he got a seal? No. He ain't no seal? No. He not no angel? No. So, how do he know who the 12 tribes are? <laughs> Once again, all you got to do is look what a man says yeah. and find out that he is lying. Yeah, yeah. Evidence and logic. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Moxie. Okay. Verse 5. Oh. It says, the tribe of Judah were, were the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Simeon, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Zebulon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. Wait a minute. This, once again, does not happen until the tribulation period. Mm -hmm. Four angels come down, sent from God, and seal and let you know who the, 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 the children or the 12 tribes of Israel mm -hmm. are. So then how is it possible that Nathaniel knows already? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not possible. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's just 
a lot. And, and Pastor, we didn't put in there tonight, but if you go by some of the people that was around a long time ago, uh, um, Bocab, mm -hmm. them, who talked with them, they told you how they came up with that chart. We ain't gonna go into the night, right. but they told you how right. Apple Bibbins came up with that chart. That's right. It was a hook. It was a hook to get people in New York as folks got off the boats and where that coming. <laughs> I wish you had that clip, but it's on. Well, we got, but it's in our other teachings. But all okay. they have to do is no, go. no, no, no. The other clip, the one I wanted you to get. But for everybody else, remember, it, it started off in New York, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't watch that movie, the, the Last Dragon, right? Remember oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is where this is where they get all this clothing from. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and why they looking like uh -huh. uh, the Shogun of Harlem. Yeah, all yeah. that stuff. Somebody was watching that movie too much when they started this camp. Yeah, yeah. Verse nine, mm -hmm. because we gotta we gotta just show that the man ahead, cannot deep, deep. possibly be the one who is bringing uh, the revolution and bringing the mm -hmm. twelve tribes. And I know they're gonna say the title. Well, in there, but the title even in, in there help you. A multitude from <laughs> the Great Tribulation. And let, let's say we don't say nothing about the title. Let's see what the context is. <laughs> it says, After these things I look, and behold, a great multitude, which no one could number, of all nations, tribes, people, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. No, Pastor, wait a minute. The, the God and, and Nathaniel. No, Nathaniel's not mentioned. He's oh, he's not, not mentioned that. No, no. Okay, no. okay. Verse 11. All the angels stood around the throne, and the elders and the four living creatures, and fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, mm -hmm. saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Wait a minute, Pastor. Amen. All the nations, not people to uh, pull, but like they try to say from the nation. Oh, oh back away, where, where is it? Where is it at? You want to go up to, I think, about 11. Yeah. Uh, come on. I, know I, I heard you read it. Yeah, go up a little more to about verse 9 then. There you go. Yeah. Of all nations, huh? All tongues. Mm -hmm. It didn't say culture, skin color. <laughs> all Nations. Where is the doctrine of you have to learn that you Israel at? Mm -hmm. Do we ever see that? Mm -hmm. That you have to learn that you Israel? Mm -hmm. No. You have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That is what's important. That's the only thing that saves you. Mm -hmm. Trying to tell somebody they're Israelite for what? What difference does it matter? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any difference. What, what is that? Is that Romans chapter 11 and uh, about verse 4? I think that's what I, I think that's what I want to go. 11... What does it say? Uh, it's it's about Abraham. No, no not four. Romans eleven. With four, four. Oh, it says that in Abraham by faith. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it eleven? What, four, hey, four. Yeah. I think it's the reverse of the four and eleven. Yeah, let's go. Back. There you go. They, I, well, you knew where I was at. And he, I'll go start at 10 now. Oh, we can start at verse. Oh, okay. We can start at verse uh, 1. Okay. And read into this. Well, let's let's see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It says, What then shall we say? That Abraham our father has found according to the flesh. For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now to him now to him who works, the wages are counted as grace, but as debt. But to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. Just as David also describes the blessedness of the man to whom God imputes righteousness apart from works. Bless apart from works. Apart from works. Okay. Blessed are those who, whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord shall not impute sin. Does this blessedness then come upon the circumcised only or upon the uncircumcised also? Pastor, isn't that Jews and Gentiles? Amen. Regardless of what nation? In regardless of what, <laughs> regardless of what nation they're from. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. How then was it accounted? While he was circumcised or uncircumcised? Not while circumcised, but while uncircumcised. Right? 
Oh. Put okay. him over there with the Gentiles. Yeah, put him over there. Cause, uh, and he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which he had while still uncircumcised. Whoa. That he might be the father of all those who believe, though they are <laughs> uncircumcised. That righteousness might be imputed to them also. Uh -huh. So this whole nonsense about you must be Israel, uh -huh. I don't even have to get circumcised. <laughs> yeah. Not, not not physically. Not, I don't have to. Not if you believe the scripture. That's right. Not physically. So this and this before the law. Way before the law. Right. So mm -hmm. now, come on, Pastor. Give me Galatians. You gotta one. go there. You gotta go there. You gotta go there. Galatians uh we're gonna Chapter 1. Oh, 1. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Start at verse 6. Uh -huh. So now, since this man is preaching, uh, you must know Israel, let's see what the gospel says about people who do this. Uh -huh. It says, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you into the grace of Christ to a different gospel, uh -huh. which is not another. But there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. Uh -huh. But even if we, who is that, prophets or apostles, uh -huh. or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you let him be accursed as we have said before so now I say again if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received let him be accursed for do I now persuade men or God or do I seek to please men for if I still please men I would not be a bond servant of Christ now one more one more and then we get back okay first Corinthians 15 first Corinthians 15 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. 1 through 4. And it says this. Here it is. Right. It says, Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you, mm -hmm. which also you received, and in which you stand, mm -hmm. by which also you are what? Saved. Uh -huh. If you hold fast that word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. Mm -hmm. For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received. What did he receive? That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, mm -hmm. and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, mm -hmm. and that he was seen by Cephas, then by the twelve. Mm -hmm. After that, he was seen by over 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, mm -hmm. but some have fallen asleep. Mm -hmm. So, Pastor, so what you're saying, Paul said, this is what I got. This is what I taught. In 2018, what should me and you be preaching? The same thing. Life, death, burial, resurrection <laughs> of Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that's what saves. And while you went there, and I always mess it up, so I might have to go to two places. Let's just, but since you went there, let's grab one more. I, I'm, if it's not 1 Corinthians 11, 4, it's going to be the second. Nope, it's got, got twisted. It's all right. At least uh, you, you know where you're going. 2 Corinthians 11, 4. There we go. It says this, For if he who comes preaches any other Jesus whom, whom we have not preached, or if you receive a different spirit which you have not received, or a different gospel which which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. In other words, Paul said, you better be careful. <laughs> didn't he say another spirit, the spirit uh -huh. led him? Uh -huh. well, didn't we say it wasn't the right spirit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scripture, bear by uh, scripture. Uh, I mean, it's all over the place for the Bible student. Okay. Uh, did we? Finish? I don't think we did. We didn't. Finish I think the you Bible. read up under the, the right. The, the, it uh, says disobedience to God's laws uh, has been the root of all troubles. Uh -huh. Blacks and Hispanics everywhere suffer the same racial, social, economic problems worldwide. I told you it was an active group, active, and that's exactly what he's saying. Uh -huh. Voting has not helped us. Christian churches have failed us. It's time for a change. In these last days, we must give the Bible's medicine to sick people. Then and only then will things begin to change. Wait a minute. The Bible's medicine is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 9 and 6 says he's the counselor. Mm -hmm. So if he's the one who can counsel you and heal you, mm -hmm. Nathaniel can't heal you. See my tattoos, Pastor? Yes, I see. See them, them from the drugs. Uh -huh. it, the Christianity healed me. When uh -huh. I say Christianity, the Jesus of Christianity healed me. There you go. The Jesus of Christianity got me off drugs. Amen. The Jesus of Christianity turned my life around. Mm -hmm. The Jesus of Christianity gave me a, a, a what? I, she may not be perfect because I ain't perfect. Amen. But, she, but and I ain't got time to go into it. But from those, the women, the sort of women that 
used to be in my life. Uh, he gave me a godly woman, a woman amen. that was pleasing God. You're here in a house mm -hmm. that if he took me from sleeping in on this couch and that couch, the, the Jesus of Christianity. Don't tell me he worked back then and he worked today. today. And this still ain't it. <laughs> this still ain't the end. If he can do this, Lord, I'm looking forward. <laughs> you ain't got nothing for him. Nothing. And then he robbing the people. Oh, 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 we got to get oh, to this. We gotta, go, go ahead, go back. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Because, yeah. you know, I mean, we read this good. Part. Yeah. Right, it says, uh, in these last days, we must give the Bible's medicine to sick people. Then and only then will things begin to change. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. he got to change the Bible for things to begin to yeah, change. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. So now, now when we show this, now here's a map of them in the United uh, States. And don't worry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it ain't for you to go to worry. The, the point that we put up, put, it, put it up here for is the devil is going to and fro, fro trying to see who he can devour, mm -hmm. who he can pull in. You know what I'm saying? He's going to people outside the church, mm -hmm. and he's going to people inside the church. And so you, and so folks tell me, oh, you should compromise. Oh, prophet, don't worry about that. If if it did right down, you saw it because you don't want to show it to me. Not not a mile away, mm -hmm. he didn't sell it. It used to be oh when they was over there, he said, Well, I ain't gotta worry about it. See, that's over there in New York, or mm -hmm. that's over there. Oh, not today. Right. They got one right here on Southfield, they got another one over here on Seven Mile. Mm -hmm. Just this group that we talking about. That's right. And they're talking to your children. Their children go to schools with your children. Uh -huh. They're talking to your children. Oh, but we ain't got to work. Yeah, oh, I got to need to praise Jesus. No, we're supposed to be in the field working. We're supposed to be teaching our children how to defend the faith that was once for all given to the saints. Amen. That's it. Let's go a little farther. A matter of fact, let's see. Here he goes, the, the, the bishop, and he's out doing his missionary work. Let's see what it says here. And we don't have to cover it all, because like I say, for, for sake of time, you can even, you know, but I know, but I know you, you like me, you like to, right, like to right. let the scriptures see. Right. So, so let's then, he, okay, so mm -hmm. first of all, we know that uh, Jesus Christ and that Joseph is not Jesus' father. And we, I'll just get right to the verse. I'm going to read uh, Matthew chapter 1, verses uh, 23 through 25. Okay. And that should give us what we need. It says, Behold, the virgin shall be with a child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Mm -hmm. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took to him his wife and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Jesus. Mm -hmm. So now the man just lied and said that Joseph was the father. Joseph was the adopted father. Yeah, Joseph yes, was yes. not Jesus' physical father at all by no means. Mm -hmm. He didn't even have sex with his wife until after mm -hmm. Jesus was born. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture is saying. When it says that he did not know her, that word know, yada. 
That's to know her intimately. Mm -hmm. And I believe, is it Mark? No, is it Luke? Did, 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 let's see, let me, let me go back. I think it's Luke. Come on, Robert. Is it, uh, is it 1 drop 123? Uh, I'll just quote it, because we did it in another lesson. That's why I'm, I'm trying not to do it. But it tells us that she should be overshadowed by the Holy Ghost, okay. which they take and chew that up. Because then they go over in the Acts 7, to my IUIC, they go over, and that's in the one of the tapes. Mm -hmm. For a sake of time, I'm trying not to go everywhere tonight. But we got to address it. They go, they, uh, um, they say that the Holy Ghost is the law right. and, that they came over Mary. Go back and look at our tape where we, we, you hear it straight from their mouth. And, and they do say that, but how did the, whole, how did the, how did the law get her pregnant? <laughs> I just want to know because the law and the Holy Spirit is not the same thing. Not the same thing. So once and, and, and Pastor, what we know of, of Jesus, you might as well we might as well put it on the Christ child deal. Who, who mm -hmm. he is? What, what you want to break that down? What, the response? hypostatic union. Oh, the hypostatic union. Yes, that uh, Jesus Christ is fully God and fully man. Mm -hmm. But this is because what he put on flesh. And I got a, 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 a Philippians chapter two. Philippians, okay. It's so much in the Bible. I mean, <laughs> and, and I was looking for it's it's a it's a chap it's a two it's a and around what about what um, uh, six six okay. And it says this: Who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness mm -hmm. of men, mm -hmm. and being found in appearance as a man, mm -hmm. he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, mm -hmm. even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, mm -hmm. that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord mm -hmm. to the glory of God the Father. And I'm going to add one back with, on, mm -hmm. on that with you just in case you can't see it. And I love both, but I think for second time we'll go to 1 Timothy 3.16. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 3.16. We love all of them, but I, Pastor Mawson told me to try to get the ones that say, right to the throat. Uh -huh. And it says this, and with our controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Notice it was a mystery. Mm -hmm. God was Ooh. manifesting the God. Uh -huh. So if they it? didn't understand the word, right. is God uh -huh. in John 1, uh, 1, and, one. Four, and, four, and 14, yeah, 14 yeah. <laughs> here it is. God was manifested in the flesh justified in the spirit, seen by angels, preached among the Gentiles, mm -hmm. believed on in the world, and received up in glory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't get no better than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. about he was in it? I, I would love the question. And he was talking what, to children. Right. What, he was an extension of God. No, he was God in the flesh. Quit telling people like, but you know what? He probably used to rock big chains back in the day because he got them big things on his arm. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So he probably gonna like that millstone that he <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm just saying. Hey, brother Ken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how y'all doing? We good, oh, brother. Hanging in there. Now, now here go another member. And I believe he's another officer in the uh, court. Let's see what he's out teaching. Well, he loved you. That's sin. I am not sin. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because that's the doctrine that God told him. Okay. Give me one. Give me the first chapter. Let me back I'm sorry. Give me the first chapter. 121. Matthew 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. This is talking about Mary. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. So this was God, the angel that was sent to Joseph to tell Joseph about the baby that him and his wife was going to have. Let me repeat that. That him and his wife, Joseph and his wife, was going to have Christ. That's why they called Jesus the carpenter's son. No, he was not born immaculate. He came from Joseph's sperm, so you can understand. Read with me. First of all, I, I know you read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, too, once again, we always see the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm catching him in two lies. Right? Mm -hmm. So we already read Matthew. Uh, chapter 1, 23 to 25, so we know uh -huh. that he didn't come from uh -huh. Joseph's sperm. Uh -huh. Then, um, the, immaculate. He, the immaculate conception, uh -huh. that's that's dealing with Mary, uh -huh. being sinless. That's not dealing with <laughs> Jesus not being, coming from sperm. So, you got all these guys out here, and it says over in 1 Timothy chapter 3, let not many of you become teachers. And they go across the water. Yeah, you know what? 
Joel Osteen go across the wall. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, you know, what we find about these people who who teach falsely and are really after money, mm -hmm. they can get the money to come in because they're telling people what they want to hear yeah, yeah. versus convicting them on sin and telling them to follow Christ yeah. and to stop sin. Yeah, yeah. That's not what they preach. They're not preaching the gospel mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. They're preaching a new flesh hate doctrine. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. Oops, oops, oops. And wait, oh. he was at Matthew chapter 15, Wanna right? Verse 24, that's where he was at, right? Yep, 15, 24. Matthew, Matthew. Matter of fact, you 15, start at verse 21. 15. We want to read into it. Okay, start at okay. verse 21. 21. See, they, they always give you the one line. They don't want to give you the full story. Uh -huh. It says, Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. Now, whose son is it? Is he David's son or is he Joseph's son? See, we just, we just look at what the words say. My daughter is severely demon-possessed, but he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. Wait a minute, Pastor. That she wasn't crying out to them. Right. She crying out to him. him. Exactly. <laughs> Go ahead. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, wait a minute. Verse 23, but he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Uh -huh. Then she came and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. Right? Uh -huh. But he answered it, but he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Now, a Gentile woman. A Gentile woman. Now, if, she was, if it was just to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, then, then why did he grant it? Mm -hmm. But wait a minute. Let's go to Matthew mm -hmm. chapter 10. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. Don't keep trying to hit us with one-liners. And we can start at verse 1 through 5. Okay. And it says this. Oh, and, and it says this. And when he had called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Labius, whose sure name was Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. Verse 5. These twelve Jesus sent out and commanded them, saying, Do not go into the way of, Gentile, of, of the Gentiles, and do not enter a city of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? And as you preach, go saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, uh, raise the dead, cast out demons, freely you have received, freely give. Now, the thing is this, he told them that, why? Because the scriptures say that he had to go to Israel first. first. Yes, yes, yes. But not only. Uh -huh. But first, did they insert, they, IUIC and other camps, insert. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, if we even go back before Jesus came on the scene, Isaiah 49 oh, and 6. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, you got it. About the, about the, uh, the, uh, the light. To, 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 exactly. We got it. All right. So then, I'm going to let that's, you go. No, no, no. That's let good. teach your lesson. I, 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 I can put my feet up <laughs> and say, man, for the rainy day. <laughs> I'm like, See, well, but that's because we study, so it shouldn't be no surprise. It don't no. matter. And anybody else that's studying, when you when you in the crowd, if you're a Christian, you the, the scripture should be coming. If you're doing what we're told to do, to study to show ourselves approved, mm -hmm. even if you don't say nothing to them, you know the scripture should be talking. <laughs> Every time. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, me, my expression on my face, <laughs> give me away. <laughs> you know what, too? Uh -huh. Wait it's in Luke. Well, I'll let you talk for a second. I'm going to find this chapter, and I think it's Okay, Luke well, I'll come back to this, and then when you find it, then we'll go back, okay. back to it. So I think mm -hmm. it's Luke chapter 2. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now I'll play the clip here. So now this, business before Christ or uh, off of Christ. And I called this in. Now, we didn't put everything in, but here's a, a session that's going on in their camp. And it's about the black Jesus. It's black Christ matters. Because the image was backwards. It's the face to say face flipped around. Said, from what? From, from, from Black Christ Matters to uh, Death Before the Sonic. The, the, the face, the Christ I knew that. I, I, I didn't, didn't copy it. This, yeah, no, hold on. Hit, no, no, this, this one. This, I heard the story before you copied it. Everybody, all the leaders said, it's the same face reversed. It's just one this way, one the other way. But here's the point. Satan now, in my mind, is saying, Black Christ Matters, that's Bez and Judah, okay. Uh, Come on, I'll give you an example. He told me, and he taught Judah that multiple wives is okay in today's time. That what he sees in the scriptures is that it's not talking about in the kingdom. And he told me this when I was in, living in New York right before I moved. And I didn't say nothing about it. He told me to stay quiet. He told me uh, while I was in New York that I needed to ask Nathaniel to be given rank higher than what I had. Right, to be made a captain. He told me that he knows how to manipulate Nathaniel in getting the things that he wants from him. He knows how to present things to him to get what he wants out of him. So now this this is what you want to join. Right. This is what our people are gravitating gravitating towards. First of all, there is no scripture to tell you that Jesus was black. No. Nope. There is no scripture. Let me slow it down. There is no scripture that says Jesus had woolly hair. Exactly. It ain't there. That's right. Right. And Revelation, I won't go to it tonight unless somebody called and asked me to. Right. I won't go to it tonight, but you go back and look at the ads and the lack and you no, boy, yeah, yeah, I forgot. The ads right. and the lacks and the similarity that they use. But here, the context is, you got a member, and like I said, I'm not going to go into all the detail, but I'll, if you want, I will put the, the whole video up there before they take it down, where you can see the disgrunt, gruntleness that's mm -hmm. going on. And in this case, it was an argument with a bishop. The, the one, the, from my understanding, is right up under Nathaniel. And you didn't hear all the cussing because we try not to play that on here. Right. But the out of character cussing and the verbiage, the things that he was saying because you in my pocket because based on how he's misusing another guy to, from Ghana that came into the camp who evidently has money mm -hmm. and so that's his his money. So he's mad at this guy, this not our brother, but this brother in IUIC mm -hmm. because who had the idea first and this bishop steals uh, the folks from him. All this is about I'm you, the point. That's why when uh, Mr. Andrew asked about the, the clothing, because it, it ain't for the world. Mm -hmm. So who are they gonna make this money off, Pastor? The people. Off the people. That's right. And whatnot. And uh, we've seen it with um, the one that calls itself the Holy 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 Ghost. Times the doctrine. Ta you're right, right. How they get the money and the people going to and, and outside you get a, the the flourishes or flowers, but behind the scene you got greedy wolves. Mm -hmm. And so to make a long story short. This guy, you're going to get some of that and whatnot. He goes to Nathaniel and he tries to go to bring, you know, hey, hey, help. Uh, uh, this is what my elder is doing to me. This is what's going on. And not just him because you all, some of you already are familiar with the, the case of a Judah Mac and what's the other guy's name? Um, Mash, whatever it is. So it's a lot of things going on, on in there that we when leadership was doing and they don't have no cop come back for, for it. Mm -hmm. And so because they're more concerned on building, re resurrecting the, the nation. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's not in the Bible. And, and, and all through this, Pastor, you don't hear him talking about no laws. That, right, right. And so, and I won't even deal with the multiple wives that you, I won't even deal with the, 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 the consuming the marijuana law and all those things. But you had somewhere we wanted to go before oh, we yeah, go to Father. Yeah, because yeah, we were talking about, uh, let's go over Luke chapter mm -hmm. 2. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can start at about uh, we can start at about verse twenty five. Luke two and twenty five. Yep. Let's see, this thing is not all about Israel. Mm -hmm. And it says, and behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was just and devout. Ooh, I got that. You got that. You got that. Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead. I ain't gonna mess. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me make sure this is the one. 
Yeah, this is it. I got it. Okay. So, so you had a thought. Just hold yeah, your thought yeah, on okay, it, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. yeah. Yeah. And so again, what we're saying is, I'll I'll put the tape up, and, and you should say, well, why are you showing it, Robert? Because I wanted to show you. Yeah, do things go on over in, in the Christian church? Yeah. yeah but but the Bible gives us uh, uh, instructions on call Pastor, the other day when we was here, he gave he read those things, the instruction mm -hmm. on how to deal with those things. Right. When you can't go to your pastor, and when you can't go to them, that's in leadership with your problems. You are gonna hear what what uh, um, what his name Nathaniel say is. Black Cards Matters. Because the image is oh. backwards. It's the face to say face flipped around. I From what? From we don't have to. We are, we are listening to it, Professor. You want to read? Now, this is the guy here who's talking. All right. And it says, Bishop Kenai Gabar is a top official in the IUIC. Web bio. It yeah. says, I've been in the truth 17... I, I've been in the truth. That's that truth. In, in yeah. the truth, which is definitely not the truth. Mm -hmm. It says, I've been in the truth 17 years, and by the spirit of the Most High and Christ, I have had the opportunity to learn under Elder Nathaniel one of Israel's great teachers. I've seen a lot over the years, some bad, some good, but one thing for sure, the only way to see the kingdom of God is by the keeping of the commandments and faith in Christ. Right. So, so, commandments first. Uh -huh. Faith in Christ. <laughs> As we see, they do not go hand in hand. No. So, here, now this comes up, and, and let's read it first, and then I'll, I'll tell you how we got uh, diatrophies. it. Diatrophies. It says, uh, John, uh, Third John one nine, it says this. I I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds which he doeth. No, John is that I'm gonna deal with him right. when I come, huh. priding against us with malicious words, and not content therewith. Neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them. That would. Now, in other words, so I, I'm not accepting them, and, and I, you better not let them in. Wow. Uh -huh. And casted them out of the church. Uh -huh. The leaders that I mentioned <laughs> to die tree fees. Listen up. No, I want die tree fees. Die tree fees. Find that. It's right there. Right. So anybody that didn't do what he said, he would throw them out. So now let me ask you this Who set die tree fees off? I'll do the most high in Christ. I'm not, I'm not talking about the most high in Christ. Right. They set him off and he became reckless. And that's what we're going through now. We're seeing that brothers that are in leadership positions, some of them, not all, some of them are becoming reckless. And it's not clear to us at first, it takes time to be made and assessed. That's what's happening there in Brother John. That's what's happening. So we're reading Bible all over again. So we're reading it. That's what I want you to see. Don't give up faith. You just gotta see we're living through this, okay? So don't let it grieve you when others come in and people take advantage of them. It happened back then with the apostles. They had spiritual power when it happened. How much more now with us? You know? They could have shrunk his head and killed him. <laughs> you know? And it was so happening with them. It's happening with us too now. Just in the old days. Don't give up. You know, don't get emotional. Tell me the most you says, well, let this will be done. Don't be upset. Don't be upset. Don't let it bother you. It's not bothering me. You know why? Because I know second Ezra said they got to walk through this path. And whether it comes from me or another brother, it's going to happen. And then, like Christ said, woe well, unto them by whom your sense comes. So if the brother can't correct himself, if it's true, I'm seeing it. If it's true, this. Then the most high is going to step in. I know it. No. So what you see is you, you get two pieces of it. He said, oh, don't worry about it. this mm -hmm. here. What the brother's doing to you. And, and again, like I said, we can't play it all. I think we did deal with Judah Magnum another day, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Right. And so it ain't just one person coming saying, hey, this bishop is doing. So you know it. But he ain't dealing with it. Oh, don't worry about it. And that's what they used to say in the organization that I came out of. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, the, the God of it will fix it. The God of it, you know, you, <laughs> the Word of God. The Word of God tell you what to do. Tell you right, what to right. Do. But we understand that He ain't in the Word of God. Amen. Right, right. So we we understand that. And then because they're trying to grow, I can't knock my leaders down because I need because I, I got I need them numbers and, and all all that. And, and so He's turned a blind 
eye to it. Mm -hmm. And then he says, and then the guy goes on, like I said, you have to get the whole tape, three hours and a half, one to the tape, three hours and a half, can't put all that stuff in there, you have to right. listen at it. And the guy puts the evidence where you can hear the conversation, mm -hmm. kind of like me. <laughs> I, I use tape recorders, so be careful, when you, when you, and I ain't doing this slightly, right, because right. Cause, cause people say a lot of things today, and, and, and then when you walk away, you ain't got no evidence or what it is that they, they say it. And so and then so he, he's complained about how the guy's using what he calls the pocket and right. whatnot. The, this guy from Ghana mm -hmm. and whatnot. And he tells him, oh he gotta go through the fire. Wait a minute, Andrew. He gotta get ripped off. He has yeah. to. He gotta go through the fire. He got to learn to see if he can stand. I, I don't Where is that in the Bible? It's not. And that's Nathaniel. That's right. The one who said that God gave him the uh, to, to, be, to, 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 to bring Israel back together. Yeah. Well, they found out that's a lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And, and as they do in most organizations, now I'm not justifying either side. My point of it is go back to the basics, back to the Bible. That's right. Huh? If you go back to the Bible, the problem is these guys, they want to, when they, even when they get hurt, they want to uh, uh, come against it, but they, are, they, they still want to hold on, and that's what we talked about the other night. Mm -hmm. They still want to take and say that the camp is right. The, doc, the teacher, they teach the, the truth is right. No, the truth ain't right. It's not. The whole foundation got to come down. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's how come I had to walk away from what I was in. Once I learned, I, I thought I could change, and the wife, she, she can tell you, get the, get the book. <laughs> but, and, and that's the thing about those who are not willing to follow men. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, once I find out that you're lying, I'm out of here That's because right. I'm not about to let you lie to me That's right. as if you special. That's right. I don't care if you got on gold and purple or yeah. if you got on an all black suit with gators. If yeah. you're lying, I ain't following That's you. That's right. That's right. And too often, Pastor, what happens is the little, the small little folks, you can't even, if you're going to call them out, the little folks, they're going to attack in you. Yeah. Instead of going and checking the evidence because they're afraid because they done built up their hopes, their money, their mm -hmm. time, their children. So now you want me to wake up and see that what I'm in is false. I don't want to see that. Would you rather stay? You know, that's like that battered, abused yes. syndrome. Ooh, whether, it man, man or or say. Right. whether it be a woman or a man, once you see that somebody doing you wrong, don't you sit there and be codependent on that nonsense. You go out and you walk again mm -hmm. right? and, and look for the Lord. That's what you do. And Pastor, if I see it happening to you, I can't sit silent. Cause no. you might go, cause guess what? Sooner or later, mm -hmm. it's gonna come rolling around right to me. Why well, ain't nobody saying it? Well, you didn't say nothing when you saw it happening to other, other folks. Exactly, that's right. It's not a, hey, mm -hmm. listen, that's our job to, to tell mm -hmm. the truth. The leaders that I mentioned <laughs> to die tree feast. Listen up. I think I no, oh. I want to die at three feet. No, no, no. Die at three feet. It's right there. Yeah, but right. I want you to get to it. I want you to scripture. Uh -huh. Okay. Second Timothy 3 and 2. It says, A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, good behavior, given of given to hospitality and apt to teach. So, so can now how do you pronounce his name? He broke that one already because if y'all listen to the video, all them words that was flowing out of his mouth, boy, it was like a train that was on, a runaway train. He, he was going, he went to the man's house, and the man recording it, and grabbed it all, and he didn't care. And, he, and listen, and this is the thing, too. Mm -hmm. It says the bishop then must be blameless, and what, what's the last part? Apt to teach? Apt to teach. Well, we already see he can't teach. That's right. Uh-huh. 2 Timothy 3 and 3. Not given to wine, nor striker, not greedy of filthy lucre. And that three-hour tape, listen at it. That's all that's about filthy lucre. And the other part, but again, like I said, I didn't want to go into that. When he's talking to him, mm -hmm. he's bashing. Now, I don't know, I don't know none of these guys. Mm -hmm. All I got is just the evidence. Right. He's bad, but I know when I hear somebody bashing, I'm Andrew, me and you got a problem. Mm -hmm. And wait, well, you got me and you got a problem. And I also have a problem with Joanne mm -hmm. and whatnot. I'm talking to you, and you're here to talk to me to try to re rectify our problem. Mm -hmm. But instead of me talking to you about our problem, I'm saying to you, and Joanne, she ain't no good. And Joanne, she this. Mm -hmm. And jo I mean, in this three hour, he steady. And this guy, he, he, you hear him, he started putting comments on it. But I want you to see what Nathaniel says about it later on. Okay. And so, in other words, instead of you dealing with this, you bad mouthing and, 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 and sowing discord about another brother, causing, with, try, trying to get me to look at them. Uh, crooked, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. and this is a, a leader. 
There we go. But that's what you want. That's right. You want this over Jesus Christ. We want a revolution. We want a... a, a <laughs> I want a new heaven and a new earth. What's <laughs> happening? No revolution down here with this nonsense? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, did we finish? Oh, yeah, we finished. Okay. Right. Uh, 1 Timothy 3 and 7, it says, Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without. A good report, Pastor? A good report. Even us, when we look at it, we, it, it, we should be able to say, well, he's a good man. Right. Uh, even outside folks. That. That's right. They should be able to say that. <laughs> uh, we find in this, this that he's not a good man. He is a liar. Uh -huh. And he does not know how to interpret scripture. He is not apt to teach. Uh -huh. First Timothy 3 and 7, moreover, uh -huh. he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Well, I think we didn't, he didn't did that. Uh -huh. And Pastor, if you make the newspaper, can you get mad at me for reading the newspaper? Nope. <laughs> the information is out there. It's out there. There you go. Okay. Uh, John 3, 1 and 11. It says, Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil have not seen God. So if he's doing this thing, it ain't a God. He asked him the question, well, who put him in place when he was talking about how you pronounce it? That uh, diatrophy. Right, right. Well, who put the guy Bishop Canaan in place and you started the organization? He did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. There you go. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, Bill. No, no. Uh -huh. We just, you know, telling it like it is. Side note. Let's go okay. a little far. Here's another piece. Uh, if I can find the mouse. Guess what, Ben? Again, the most I saying to you, I want God to go through the fire. You were trying to pull him from one fire, you put him into another one. Most I said, you said, mind your business. I need this man to grow up and grow to keep interfering. <laughs> In other words, you back out of this thing, he needs to grow. So, so what's going to taking his money, misuse him, and talking to his wife on the side? You back up. He got to go through that. Where is that at in the scripture? Where, as a brother, it says he mm -hmm. has to go. Wait a minute. I got to cause you trouble? Mm -hmm. no, 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 I'm supposed to help you through trouble mm -hmm. and help you get out of it. Mm -hmm. But he got to go through it. Now, let me see this. Let me set this up. Because you're a married man. Mm -hmm. And I see your wife creeping out, doing things. Mm -hmm. And then I'm supposed to sit back and say, hey. Well, you know what? He has to go through that. He has to experience an adulterous relationship mm -hmm. and, and, and God will fix it. Mm -hmm. You just, that's foolishness. That's, that's right. right. But that's evil. right. That's right. That's right. You, you, and, and now, we understand, and we, for a second time, although I did give us extra time, okay. but for a second time, we're going to be careful how we come to that brother with that. Mm -hmm. Brother, let's pray. Let's talk. Yeah. That's, amen. That's some things I think that you might want to check. Check. Check out, mm -hmm. and you're gonna give, give present evidence. That's right. Now, now you yes, I do it because I I, I love you. That's right. And, right. Because because guess what? If you don't tell me, I find out that you know knew it, and you didn't. And you knew this all the backstabbing, backbiting, no good, low mm -hmm. down. It might hurt me when you, t you you tell me, right. but at least you gave me a hit. and told. Right. I get over it. Right. <laughs> but if I find out that you knew it and went along. <laughs> That, right. that's what and, and Andrew, and to do that, you know, you see the bigger picture. What does that do to the church? Make the church look bad. Yeah, right. And you know, we ministers in the church, and my wife, and me and the wife, we talk about it. Same for same thing go for her, goes for me, and mm -hmm. whatnot. I represent her, she represents me. Right. We represent Christ. That's right. And so if I'm doing something un, 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 unsavory, unsavory un, and whatnot, mm -hmm. it falls back on her. That's right. It falls back on you. That's it right. makes you look. Because what people assume? Birds of the feather? Flock together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go a little farther. Now, what's him flip the script? Uh-oh. Yeah, go to this one first. All the time. You're not saying rude or crass stuff all the time. But once in a while, once in a while you do. Imagine if somebody goes click up and records you. Hold on, let me I'm trying to turn that down just a little bit now. Okay, back to it. Uh, my mouse. And you put a conglomerate of video and audio together to make it appear like you the devil on earth. Wow. Ah, it's cold out here, Israel. That wouldn't be cold, it wouldn't be good. Now a lot of y'all know my background. I've sat through many, many court cases. And in many court cases, uh, lawyers 
defense lawyers have attempted to introduce video and audio. But one thing they must all have is date stamp and time stamp in East Source Code of Law. And without that, it gets thrown out. Why? Because a good editor can make you sound or look any kind of way they choose. Now, Bishop Kana, I love you. It appears you got caught with your pants down, my brother. You have to go through the fire. You in the fire now, you must go through the fire. Ah, always remember this. An attack on the king's men is an attack on the king. Remember that thing. Oh, I wanted to say this also. My brother said that uh, David left Saul, so I guess David wasn't in the body. You know, listen, let me tell you something about David and Saul. David was a righteous man. Okay. Saul hunted him, chased him. Why? To destroy him. Now, I, you, I said, you know we ain't hunting down nobody. We ain't trying to destroy nobody. But people are hunting us down trying to destroy us. Okay, let's get the last part, then we'll come in. But people are hunting us down trying to destroy us. I'm going to say it again. An, an attack on the king's men is an attack on the king. Remember what Christ said in Matthew 25? I'm going to my head now. He said, inasmuch as you've done unto the rest of those that believe in me, you've done it unto me. He said, and when you did it not to the least of those that believe on me, you did it not unto me. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it like that, Israel. Most high in Christ, bless you all. Love you in other words, as much as you done it to Christ, you done it to me. And that's what you and he come back in as much as you done it to, to, to the um to, to the king's men, mm -hmm. you done it to me. That's the basis of what he's saying. Right. And so in other words, he knows about the video. But but I showed you a few videos. These I mean we, we ain't even talking about what we looked at the other day. Right, right. And these this guy got him in in the court, you got him talking in there. So it ain't like you didn't didn't know it. Now all of a sudden you, it's like he didn't took a a bunch of clips and told oh, he might accuse us of taking a bunch of clips. No, I took the evidence that one of your folks did. Right. And, went down. and there's much more out there. Listen, we Pastor still don't say that. I was being nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we see the evidence in the way you teach. Yeah. And that you deceitful. Yes. Period. Yeah. I mean, a crook is a crook no matter mm -hmm. how you look at it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he is. It's, it's, it's flat. Mm -hmm. It's period. And I hope, you know what I'm saying, that God does destroy it. That wicked organization. Yes. Period. Yes. And, and we and we didn't say it. Uh, 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 what did What did the Bible tell us in Deuteronomy thirty? Have no pity. Have no pity. Right. 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 Let's go a little farther. All the time. Oh, there we go, Pastor. Right. Now it's gonna flip sideways. You know that's the way they record it. But here you got notice a, a, a minister, a pastor at the door yeah, got the of the church, yeah. New Arab Baptist Church. Welcome to prophets. To pass, pass out flyers. Let, let's hey, watch. Not they prophets. Well, that would have got in the window. I didn't prophets. put it there. Uh, <laughs> So now, now, honey, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw her in, in it. So I threw it to Joe. I, I was telling Joe about it. Honey, what did you say, honey? First, she said, "Well, maybe he was just being cordial." He was just being cordial. <laughs> I said, "What? That's the that's the, the gatekeeper." What? <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Go ahead. You, I know you got something. Better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can, all right. So he didn't let these people come in. Yes. And pass out flyers in the church. Yeah. Get a uh, second John. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. And this is why we do what we do. We got to, cause if the church don't know, somebody need to be warning. Hey, somebody need to be warning. look right. what you letting in Second John. You said, yeah, Second John. Uh, 
chapter one. Oh boy. Second John. One. Uh huh. Nine. Uh, start at verse nine. Verse nine. And it says this, Verse nine. whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him into your house, <laughs> nor greet him. For he who greets him shares in his evil deeds. He's supposed to stop him at the door, Pastor. At the door. Can you imagine the Jehovah Witnesses trying to come up in strictly biblical and come pass out flyers? It's not going to happen. It ain't happen. The Mormons, uh, the nation of Islam, uh, the Hebrew Israelites, it's not going to happen. happen. You're getting put out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is what these new soft serve churches do. Yes, yes. They yes, let yes. wolves right into the house. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, and, 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 and in 2018. Yeah. I got another one. Too. Oh, yeah, let's go to First it. Timothy. I knew you was gonna have some. <laughs> Goodness gracious. First Timothy uh, uh, chapter six. First Timothy six eighteen. Six and three. Oh, six and three. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's all right. It says this, if anyone teaches otherwise and does not consent to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which which accords with godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but is obsessed with disputes and arguments over words from which come envy, strife, reviling, evil suspicions, useless rings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. From such, withdraw yourself. No, you, you just won't, son. You gotta be nice, Pastor. No, I don't know. Nah, you go to hell by yourself. Withdraw. That's right. Withdraw. <laughs> Get up out of there. You already. We already seen with the first guy who called himself the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We already knew that all these camps mm -hmm. teach false doctrine. Mm -hmm. How long does it take for you to pull yourself out of there? Mm -hmm. And Pastor, the guy website here with Nathaniel, uh -huh. he tells you what his mission is. Right. It, it ain't his. It's right there. It's right there. So then he does what all false teachers do. He has uh, appealed to your flesh. Yeah. You mad about the government? But yes. when, instead of saying the government a lot, he said he called him Esau. Mm -hmm. Not a government is just Esau. Mm -hmm. the, the white man. Yeah. That ain't nothing but hatred. That's right. Because there's going to be a lot of white people in heaven too. That's right. Period. That's right. They love the Lord just like we do. That's right. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's go a little farther. Okay, so this is from their site too. And, uh, how do I repent? It says the word repentance is commonly spoken of worldwide. However, the understanding thereof is often misunderstood. In this report, the scriptures will uncover what repentance truly is according to the Holy Bible. When Christ began his ministry, he gave commandments on how to repent and inherit the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 4, 17. For that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Instinctively, many who can repent of, of their sins and attain salvation always ask the question. Now watch this way he go. He, instead of going to the answer, those he goes to a question. Oh, okay. oh and that's the site. Oh, I'll showing you once again. This is from this site. And it says this. Repentance is for the Israelites first and foremost. Well, first, yeah, who is repentance for? Okay, who is repentance for? Uh -huh. Repentance is for the Israelites first and foremost for blessings to come upon the earth. <laughs> what? Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth and holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree. Mm -hmm. And I saw another angel... You can just sum it up, Pastor, because you already read it, so you can just get your summation on this bud. Wait a minute. How they gonna get blessings on earth when these guys right here in Revelation chapter 7 mm -hmm. are still in unbelief mm -hmm. but are starting to believe and mm -hmm. then the angels come mm -hmm. and give them the seal. And that was not to bless the earth. Mm -hmm. Because even after that you got the thousand year millennium and God still does what? <laughs> Destroys this earth. Yeah, yeah. And be, and builds a what? A new heaven and a new earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once again too, oh. out of context. And and I wanted to make... Uh, uh, no, 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 you good. But I was just gonna say... Even that shirt that they had on. Revelation 14, 12 on the back. These guys can't possibly know what they're talking about. 
Now you talking about saints. Are you a tribulation saint? <laughs> nah, let's tell the truth. You might go through the tribulation. Yeah. And you might become a tribulation yeah. saint yeah. because you definitely are not a saint now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It says, see, but I knew it. What did you see? It, it, crazy. Be, bing, bing, bing. And here go the next part. It says, how do I repent? This proves that angels are even holding back the final destruction until the 144,000 Israelites are sealed with the understanding that they are Israelites and the keeping of God's laws in Christ. Still ain't told you how to repent. Still haven't told you how to repent and then took it out of context yeah, also. Yeah. Everything must begin with Christ and the nation of Israel. Oh, now nice. <laughs> Oh, oh, everything must begin with Christ. And the nation of Israel. No, everything must begin with Christ. Cause they gotta go through. <laughs> God gotta go through the tribulation period. They gotta accept him too. <laughs> exactly. And I'm gonna say <clears throat> that y'all have to go through because y'all are currently unbelievers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, have to yeah. go through the tribulation period too. It says in the end That's the nations will be. Um, See, notice the twist that they do. They take subsequent and you start off. You say yeah, 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 yeah. It begins with Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, but. Then they, they do that add to that's, that's it. You gotta same. catch it. That's right. It, and it's what the uh, what does that scripture say? With the cunning craftiness of words, mm -hmm. they creep in. But mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get to that. In a minute. Mm -hmm. It says everything must begin with Christ and the nation of Israel. In the end, the nations will be obedient to the Most High's laws under Christ and the nation of Israel. <laughs> Show me that verse. And, and we don't have to read it. Then again, look at like I told you, about like in, in Israel that I was in. A zillion scriptures. Look at all the scriptures they go to read. Blah 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 blah. blah. Listen, hold on. Let's, 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 let's. In the millennium period, uh -huh. when these guys get saved, uh -huh. guess what? We got supernatural bodies, uh -huh. and we gonna be telling you what to do uh -huh. because you still in a trial phase. Yeah. You yeah. ain't made it all the way right. yet. That's scripture. <laughs> Ah, we can go to the ultimately. Okay. Ultimately, everyone will be obedient to the laws of the Most High taught to them by the Israelites. <laughs> Come on. All right. Let's go a little farther. Come on. Oh, there we go. They don't still. Okay. Mm -hmm. Zechariah 8.22. Yea, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations. Even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The nation of Israel repenting in Christ reestablishes all the promises made regarding them and greater promises. <laughs> there has always been a distinct difference between the children of Israel and the other nations. For us, it ain't for you. Oh, <laughs> that's what that's what they're saying. That's exactly what they're saying. Let me go to the next one. Acts 5 and 30, it says, The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Acts 5, 31. Him hath God exalted Jesus Christ with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. Now, all this right on their website. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Christ only laid Wait, down uh, only. Whoa. -oh. Christ only laid down his life for the nation of Israel to repent. If y'all don't quit following these foolish people, it says establishing the new covenant which which reestablishes all the promises made regarding them. Christ was sacrificed on the cross for the sins of the Israelites. Wait a minute. Ain't these the same people that said, listen, kill him and, and let the murderer go? Oh, I got it there. Okay. <laughs> see, but Pastor, see, you read the same book, same yeah. scripture come to my mind. <laughs> yeah, come on, this is ridiculous. It says yeah. the Israelites committed sin by breaking the commandments of the Heavenly Father, which they did. Uh -huh. Therefore, the Israelites must repent by keeping the commandments of God in the faith of Christ to inherit the promises. See, notice the switch are not by accepting Christ in the, the faith, faith of Christ. Christ. See, see, so now you got the it law. Like you said, how many times have we taught that the law of faith don't go hand that's in right, hand? Do we right. need to read it again? <laughs> I guess so. Another yeah, lesson. Another <laughs> lesson, yeah. Revelation 14, 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. Now, Revelation 14, 12 are talking about the patience of the tribulation saints. Uh -huh. Those who do what? Go read Revelation 14. Uh -huh. It's talking about those who do not receive the uh -huh. mark of the beast. That is the commandment that it's talking about. Uh -huh. Once again, these guys absolutely don't and, know and what and they're Pastor, talking maybe about. Maybe we should just jump right to Revelation 14, let's, let's 1 get, and 2. Yeah, let's, let's go over there and read it. Yeah. 
Revelation. Uh, Revelation mm -hmm. one. Revelation fourteen. Well, yeah. Before I wanted to go to Revelation mm -hmm. one first. Oh, okay, okay. Because you, you made a good point the other day when you Revelation mm -hmm. one, one and two. Okay. Which tells us what these commandments are coming from. All right. It says the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant, John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ to all things that he saw. Here you go. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it. So what For the time is near. <laughs> Don't take the mark of the beast. Follow after Christ. He ain't talking about the Mosaic law. Let me go to Revelation 14 and you want me to start with verse? Uh, Revelation 14. Um, well, they started, they went to 12, I think. Right, so we can start at 1. Okay, 14. I mean, we could have started at nine, but uh -huh. yeah, let's get into we still it. Got it's a, it says, "Then I looked, and behold, a lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him one hundred and forty-four thousand, having his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the voice of many waters, and like the voice of a loud thunder. And I heard the sound of the harpists playing their harps. They sang, as it were, a new song before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. And no one could learn that song except the." the 144,000 who were redeemed from the earth. These are the ones who are not defiled with women. These are the ones better. These uh -huh. are the ones who are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. Mm -hmm. These were redeemed from among men, mm -hmm. being first fruits to God and to the Lamb. Mm -hmm. And in their mouth was found no deceit, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, saying, in heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth. Who preached right here, Pastor? The angels. Oh, oh okay. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was it the nation of Israel, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> then I saw another angel flying in the midst of the heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, having with a loud voice, saying with a loud voice, fear God and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment has come. And worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea, and springs of water. Hold on. That's the command. Mm -hmm. And worship him mm -hmm. who made heaven and earth, mm -hmm. the sea, and the springs of water. Mm -hmm. And another angel follows, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So we know we ain't talking about now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. Verse 9, then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worship the beast and his image and receives the mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whoever receives the mark of his name. Mm -hmm. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. <laughs> yes, says the spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Mm -hmm. What? Who did he think? What what who, what saints did he think these were? <laughs> these Blessed are the dead. <laughs> these are tribulation saints. <laughs> they run around with a shirt with, with, on his back. Revelation fourteen twelve. Mm -hmm. Talking about keeping the commandments. <laughs> but you know the truth is some truth in that. You know because mm -hmm. you probably gonna be there <laughs> and hopefully you change your gospel so that you yeah. can get into heaven. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah Ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, we down there? Nonsense, yes. Thank you. But uh, well, that's good. See, uh, did we finish this? Uh, we was at Revelation 14, no, 15, 24. But it says, But he answered and said, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Christ is specifying he is only mm -hmm. sent to the Israelites that believe upon him. Mm -hmm. The Israelites that believe in Christ by keeping the commandments of God <laughs> will inherit the kingdom of heaven on earth. The Israelites are the chosen people of God that Christ was sent to redeem. <laughs> the IUIC teaches and preach a gospel of exclusion. Mm -hmm. Jesus and his apostles preached and, and taught 
a gospel of inclusion. Let's see. Now, that's not from them. That's that's us. That's us. Right, right, right. Let's go to the Father. Furthermore, brothers and sisters, to truly understand repentance, you must remember what sin is. 1 John 3, 4. Uh -huh. Whoever so committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is transgression of the law. Meaning to commit sin means to break the laws of the Heavenly Father. What law did... Um, what law did uh, Adam and Eve have? <laughs> was it, were they under the Mosaic law? No. They were not? Oh, no. The so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, and Hispanics. So, Pastor, what you're saying, and I'm going to get to you later, but I'm glad you brought it up. So, what we see is there's a difference between law and commandment and the usage. And the usage, that's right. Because, guess what? Anything that God says to you <laughs> is the law. Right? <laughs> so, let's, let's look at it this way. Jude 3 says, Contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 16, I think it's 1 Corinthians 16, 16, mm -hmm. says, Mark them out, mm -hmm. which cause division. Mm -hmm. So we're keeping the law, right? Yeah. But it's not the Mosaic law, is it? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> and, and you can say, I'm keeping this command. And I'm keeping this command. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, okay. Uh, you can kind of sum these up, uh, mm -hmm. and then he knows he goes up. Uh, the so called Negro West Indians, Haiti, blah 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 blah, are in the midst of sin. Well, I guess so. so Everybody in the midst uh, yeah, of sin. Yeah, I guess the other folks ain't then. So, mm. But but them the ones you talking about. Right. So, hold on, hold on. He saw not in the midst of sin. <laughs> I'm just, I'm at, you know, just a, I mean, yeah, I mean, you got to ask those questions. Everybody is yeah. in the midst of yeah, sin. Yeah, yeah. And matter of fact, I, I, matter of fact, see, I wanted to jump past it, but you can't. Go ahead, Pastor. It says, our people today are in the midst of committing such sins as adultery. For White people don't commit adultery? Of course they do. Oh, uh, Chinese don't commit adultery? Of course they do. They don't fornicate? Yeah, they do. Uh, they don't commit a murder? Yes, they do. Uh, the, who is that? The, 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 uh, the, help me out, the, um, oh, the, the religion, the, the Buddha, Buddhists, and, yeah. um, yeah, uh, and Hindus, Hindus, right, 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 right. Uh, I, I don't. <laughs> so all of them, everybody. Is it go back to Adam, don't it? It does. The thing is this: is sin just for Israel? Because <laughs> wait a minute, Adam wasn't an Israelite. <laughs> so how is this thing just for Israel? Yeah, yeah. Huh. We don't. We, we don't have one account. One account of Adam being circumcised, uh -huh. or or keeping the Mosaic law, <laughs> or or or. Um, yeah, having to make, matter of fact, when he sinned, who made his sacrifice? Who? God. When, oh, when Adam oh, sinned. Okay, who, right, who, right. Who made the sacrifice and gave God him? God did. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I think you you went there already on Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I would judge your house if you really want to cook on you. Right, right, right. But God, but we also see that God judged other nations too, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> that mean? So, we got that in that trouble that too. That so, how's this just about you? Yeah, let's go a little farther. All right, it says the nation of Israel is the only nation the Heavenly Father gave the commandments to. Mm -hmm. Which commandments? I mean, right. Right. He, he, he only want, now, y'all got see, the Mosaic see, Law. See, and, and, and I beg to differ with him. Mm -hmm. Because y'all said, if you go back to Noah, Noah, you understand, everything started from Noah from his sons. They sure had commandments there. Didn't it? Now, see, that's why I say the difference when you're talking commands, commandments, and laws, the, the, the gray area there. See, the problem is this. Mm -hmm. When you're a one-trick pony, uh -huh. all you can do is say the mm -hmm. same thing mm -hmm. over and over right, right, again. Right. And notice, I think, is it here in this part? Well, oh, and notice, we won't even go into it and read it, uh, but notice, that go to Deuteronomy, you see, but you're talking about repent. That go to Deuteronomy 28, 68, drop to the yellow. The only man that can can save by the Israelites is, <laughs> is Christ. Well, wait a minute. What did he do on the cross? The thief was up there. Right. Everybody was everybody. everybody. <laughs> Anybody who believes on this man gets in. So what is <laughs> why couldn't the man just come if he really had a zeal for God and uh -huh. preach the truth? Uh -huh. Why preach a lie? And then damn yourself to hell. Mm -hmm. That hey. It I, don't add up. Don't add up. Let's go to that next one. What does an Israelite how does I'm sorry? How does an Israelite repent? Psalms 119 and 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Pastor, you agree with that, don't you? Of course. I do too. See, but see, but again, you don't you don't trick me with just going around just grabbing scripture, scripture. and not going to the point. Uh -huh. And Christ is the point. He's the target. Uh-huh. It says the way an Israelite cleanses his or her mind is by humbling themselves to the scriptures. Well, wait a minute, Pastor. I'm gonna go back where you just came. So so the, the white folks can't humble themselves to scripture? They people aren't they got they? Bibles. Don't they? <laughs> they got a mind. Chinese can't humble. They can them. read. So the same thing that they're, they're human beings. Amen. The same thing this human being can do, 
this human being can do. Amen. This human being can accept Jesus. Mm -hmm. This human being can accept Jesus. This human being can reject Jesus. Mm -hmm. This human being can reject Jesus. Well, maybe this is a little bit of that, uh, what's that doctrine? Uh, uh, uh. Come on, Calvinist doctrine. Only the elect. Oh, oh, only the elect can get in. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Easy, easy. Caucasian people, not the elect. Uh -huh. And so, uh -huh. we got to be thinking. Mm. All right. Yeah. People being deceived with a Bible in their hands. That's right. And, and I understand it because I was, I was a. Get the book. That's right. I did the same Amen. thing. Mm -hmm. Now I'm calling that slop out. <laughs> Amen. And he got you prepared mm -hmm. to do it. Uh, right here, now we just go to the yellow. Once the inner man, they goes through all this in. Once the inner man and the other woman repents, then the outward Israelite man or woman will outwardly show how an Israelite should walk uh, with fringes and with beards. Well, right, <laughs> with fringes and beards. <laughs> Let go a little farther. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mark 7 21, it goes into for. For, for what? Now they're going on and all this here. If Can you imagine that you out on the corner person asking, I want to repent? And you gone through all this mm -hmm. instead of taking me to him <laughs> that can save me. That's, and that's where we're supposed to go. But, but we know why they're doing it because their goal is to get you lost in the process and to get and bring their they thing in. I'm going to skip past some of this because there's a lot. You can read all this out there on their, on their website. Let's get to, to the point here. Let's go to. Ah, right, here we go. Let's go by here. The IUIC would have you believe, oh, I'm sorry, the lie in the truth. Mm -hmm. The IUIC would have you believe that you cannot be saved or repent without knowing who you are. <laughs> Pastor. <laughs> go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. I got a quick verse. Mm -hmm. Where we going? Acts chapter 4. Four. Because I want to see if this is lined up. Boy, I got to know who I am. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 4, four. Uh -huh. and start at verse 11. 11. Then it says this. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Mm -hmm. So knowing who I am ain't going to save That's me. Right. I got to know who Christ is. That's right. If I don't know who he is, then I'm in danger of not being saved. Pastor. Is knowing who I am depending on whether I uh, or thief or not? Nope. <laughs> is knowing who I am. Some folks don't even know who their parents are. Mm -hmm. And yet they fornicate mm -hmm. or, or commit adultery, grow up, and make come up in a home, don't know nothing about their parents. That's right. Uh, and then there's others that come through that same system. They may not do those things. That's right. And still didn't know who who they were. Right. Oh, we have time. Oh no, I I, oh, okay, I gave okay, us okay, extension. Okay. Uh -huh. So so that don't Ooh, don't please don't tell me it dropped on us. But but the recording is gone. Let's okay. see. I'm gonna try to do it. Go back. Don't drop on me. The stone which was rejected okay. by you Maybe, builders, uh, which has become. I think we still going. We good. Okay. okay. Keep going. Um. So I U C. Oh, so we got that part. Let's go look at the next thing. Oops. Come on up here. Okay. The IUI, the IUIC would have you believe that you cannot be saved or repent without knowing who you are. That is the hook. Many get snagged. <laughs> I want to be special. Uh -huh. Who am I? That's all mm -hmm. flesh. That's all pride. You don't, listen, you can't save yourself. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you came from the tribe of, of Timbuktu is not going to save mm -hmm. you. Got you over where I was, and they used to say yes, and, and we come to get you. You're not niggers, you're not Negroes, you're not spooks, jigaboos, and all that. And God, and the God of Israel sent me to, to well, when you're going through something and you don't have it, that, that tickles your ear. Tickles your ear. Uh -huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. But, sinners. It says Jesus died for sinners. Truth is the hook <laughs> of scripture, and many get snagged. That's right. Sinners. <laughs> That's right. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, that's, that's biblical repentance is for all. Amen. Uh -huh. I, and we know we ain't going to go through it, but we know they got to see what for them that don't work. Oh, we got to do something with that whosoever, because whosoever don't really mean whosoever. <laughs> it does in the Bible. Right, 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 right. Matter, matter of fact. If you start at John chapter 1 and you go all the way to 3, it's going to show you that 
it's some whosoever's all through there. Yeah, so yeah. Anybody yeah, can yeah, get in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2 Peter 3, 9, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, Wait a minute, but get that, it faster. that any uh -huh. should perish. Calvin's got a problem, too. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. When you got cult doctrine, it's cult doctrine. Uh -huh. That it says, not willing that any should perish, uh -huh. but that all should come to what? Repentance. So you got any and all, any, any and all, any and all. <laughs> it knocks both of them out the box. Both. Yeah, yeah. Let go of the whole scripture ain't done. Ephesians 2, 17. And he came and preached peace to you who were afar off. That was the who? That was the who? That was the Gentile. That, no, no, no. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Right. You're right. That's the Gentile. Uh -huh. I'm going, I'm, 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 to, I was running myself. That's all right. <laughs> and to those who were near. And that's the Israel. Right. Israelite. So he came and preached to both of y'all. <laughs> you see that in 2 Timothy 3.16? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. for, for through him we both have access by one spirit to the Father. And that, that him ain't Nathaniel. No, definitely. You better run. You see him run. 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 Matter of fact, uh, what we got? Ephesians 3? Uh -huh. I think I guess. Oh, you probably got if it. If it's go not ahead. that, then go ahead. let's see what the next page is. And matter of fact, 3, I wanted the whole, almost the whole chapter. Oh, okay. Because right, okay. I got a note in there for to read the whole thing. Okay. Ephesians 2 and 11. It says, Therefore, remember that you once Gentiles in the flesh who are called. Wait a minute, Pastor. That's not that, that good fact. Okay, let me slow yeah, down. So you can't turn around and tell me that it's talking about Jews who went off in the philosophies because he clearly tells you he was Gentiles in the what? In the flesh. Not just that in your, your philosophies. In the flesh. <laughs> it was in the flesh. In the flesh. You can't get no clearer than that. None. Uh, go ahead. It says, who are called uncircumcision. You open that up, bro. <laughs> who are called uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision in, in the flesh, <laughs> by the hands. That's Israel. That's Israel. <laughs> I mean, did you make that scripture up? No, I did not. Maybe you slipped it in. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Let, no, go no. Little, Let go to the Father. Ephesians 2.13. But now but in Christ... Now. Uh -huh. Jesus, uh -huh. you who once were far off, That's the Gentiles, uh -huh. have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Not by skin. No, cause, but you from Israel. <laughs> That's how you got close. What are you talking about? <laughs> by the blood. What color is blood, Pastor? Red. <laughs> that, and that blow through all men. Now, is it Acts? Yeah, Acts. It says by, we've all been made by one, by one blood. One, one blood. Uh, yep. uh -huh. It says Ephesians 1.13, In him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, good. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, uh -huh. who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession uh -huh. to the praise of his glory. I know you're ready to chew it right there. Okay, first of all, you trusted, mm -hmm. but when did you trust? After you heard, after you heard, <laughs> and what did you hear? You the, heard the, the word, word of truth. truth, not the truth, not the truth, not, not, truth. not no. this truth, mm -mm. not that truth, <laughs> the, the truth. word of truth, uh -huh. the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were. Oh, wait a minute, that go that seal, Pastor, you was talking about. That's right. Uh -huh. You were sealed <laughs> with the Holy Spirit of promise. And this still here ain't talking about the nation of Israel. Death notes. Because you pointed that out. That's going to happen to the tribulation. To the tribulation. We yeah. see that over in Ezekiel chapter 36. So who is these folks, Pastor? This is the church. And the church is made up of who? Gentiles and believers. <laughs> Believing. So there's going to be some folks saying, bye. Yeah, Got to go. <laughs> exactly. Now here's where you want to go, Pastor. Now notice I'm hoping I ain't going too fast. I, I do get excited because we should be excited about yeah. the scripture. That's the right. scripture keeps us out of error. And yeah. we do this that hopefully somebody will take a picture. Look Go away, steal away, do like Nicodemus did. Get away from the IUIC. You ain't got to tell where you're going. Go in the closet anywhere right. with a flashlight and begin to look at those. Ask to pray. Ask of our Holy Father, Amen. open these things up to me. God will show it, it to sure you. Will. Whether we be wrong or whether we be right. Because it ain't about us, no way. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go to the, the Ephesians 3 1 through 12. Mm -hmm. And see, see, Pastor said, go ahead. See, I, I, I right told you we'd be. Th that's the way it should be with the body of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. You didn't even know I had it down. No, then. I didn't. I was like, this is his night to teach. <laughs> but I be knowing. I already know how. It, see, I know how the guy is. You. 
Well, you see, I, I reverted back to what we used to say. <laughs> but he is the God of He's the God of all flesh. Amen. But, but Amen. you see how I'm saying with, with doctrine, the way it was in you. See how that's it came right. out? That's right. That's right. right. That's how to, and that's how to do. Yeah. But you know, that cut. Oh, yeah, you got that word. Where that come from? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Read one. There we go, Pastor. And it says this. The mystery revealed. For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for you Gentiles, mm. if indeed you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, mm -hmm. which was given to me for you, mm -hmm. how that by revelation he made known to me the mystery, as I have briefly written already, mm -hmm. by which when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages... Hold on, mm -hmm. which, which the old the prophets did not know, mm -hmm. which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men, mm -hmm. as it has been revealed by the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets, mm -hmm. that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body Ooh. and partakers of his promise in Christ through the gospel of which I became a minister according to the gift of grace of God given to me by the effective working of his power. No wonder they don't like Paul. Yeah, they can't stand Paul. Uh -huh. It says, To me, who am less than the least of all the saints, this grace was given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God who created all things through Jesus Christ to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in heavenly places according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord and whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him. Therefore, I ask that you do not lose heart at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Now, if you need me to go farther, you can go farther. I, I just went to, to there. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's right in the Bible. It's right there. <laughs> Take us out of it. <laughs> Show me where, where, where he was talking about a revolution. A a revolution. Said revolution. A revolution. <laughs> Show me where skin color gets you in or mm -hmm. knowing that you're from a tribe. Look at Luke. Luke 2.25. And behold, there was a man in That's Jerusalem. That's the one you wanted. Yep. Uh, I'll tell you one I want. It's 32, but it's cool. It says, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. So look at it. He was just, mm -hmm. and he was devout, and he was waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit was on. So what we're going to read, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you believe scripture, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is upon him. Mm -hmm. So he didn't get this of himself. Let's go a little farther. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you just talked about revealed. That's you? right. <laughs> and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Wait a minute. Jesus is called Lord. Uh -huh. God, the Father, is called Lord. That's right. So, <laughs> they're in the chain. In the chain. Uh -huh. It's synonymous terms. Yes, yes. So, he came by the Spirit into the temple. Oh, again, not by himself. Uh -huh. No, the capital. Yeah. That's right. Not, the, not, not whoever that Spirit not, was. That, yeah, not Tazadakian. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, oh, the one with, with what comes said that the Spirit gave me. Well, yeah, not uh -huh. that Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And notice where he came. Not into the synagogue. Mm. <laughs> into the temple. He came into the temple. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus uh -huh. to do for him according to the custom of the law. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, we know that Jesus was born up under the law. In fact, the Bible tells us he is the end mm. of, of the, the law. law. Right, yeah. right. So, which other way would he come? <laughs> and he come to, to the Jews first. That's right. <laughs> so nobody would have an excuse to take and say they should... They, there was never an excuse for them not to, to receive him right? because he came all the ways that the law, the the, the, the Old Testament had yeah, said right. that he was going to come. And did uh -huh. all the things, right? Mm -hmm. It says of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, uh -oh. Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, 
which you have prepared before the face of all people. Spell all, Pastor. A L L. So that that do that mean more than just Israel, doesn't it? It means more than just Israel. Uh huh. A light to bring revelation. What? To, to the, the Gentiles. Gentiles. Uh huh. Oh, and the glory of your people, Israel. Uh huh. Hmm. Right. Hmm. So he he take, took out both of them. Right out the gate. The light and the glory. <laughs> Let's go a little farther. Oh, now you want it. Did I hit the one you wanted? Yeah, you hit it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Acts 10, 45, it says, And those of the circumcision. And that's the? The uh, Jews. Uh-huh. Who believed, who believed were astonished. Uh, as wait, 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 Pastor. Mm -hmm. Well, the question becomes, well, why are they astonished? Well, the scripture going to tell us why they were astonished. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As many as came with Peter... Because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also. Wait, Wait a minute, you got an also there, Pastor? Also. I got it. You got it also. Also. I mean, let that my check also me. <laughs> Wait a minute. From what from what uh Nathaniel been telling us, uh -huh. this just for Israel. That's what he said, Pastor. So then the man's a liar. Oh, a big liar. A big liar. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Even though he started the organization, even though he traveling all over the world. So, <laughs> he, we can put him right up there with Charles Taz Russell. We can put him right up there with Joe Lowe's. Uh -huh. We can put him up there with Joyce Meyer. Mm -hmm. We can put him up there with uh, Creflo the Doctor. Ken Copeland. Ken Copeland. Uh -huh. Kenneth Hagin. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Acts 13.44. On the next Sabbath, almost the whole city came together to hear the word of God. Uh -huh. But when the Jew, but wait, Pastor, did you say but? <laughs> but we, we no, it just sounded like something good. But then now you've been telling me some a problem been coming. That ain't going good. But and it was the Jews. The Jews. Go ahead, Pastor. Saw the multitudes. They were filled with envy. Pastor, they, weren't they supposed to be God's service? What they were supposed to be? Just look like they should have been glad. Should have been. Uh huh. But. They were filled with him. <laughs> and contradicting and blaspheming, they opposed the things spoken by Paul. Pastor, isn't what his name is? Now, you know, ain't they opposing what you teach? Don't they got ain't they opposing their group, the Sakari and all of them? Uh -huh. Ain't they opposing? And all we doing, Paul said he, he was talking to him. He he, he told us it and he came on down to us. Uh -huh. All we doing, and they opposing it. That's right. So the thing is this. Nathaniel got his original teacher from Abba Bibbin. Yeah. He didn't get it from God. <laughs> and that's out of his own mouth. Hold on. Though we, or an angel from heaven, come and preach to you yeah. any other gospel, yeah, yeah. let him be a curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Then Paul and Barnabas grew, grew bold and said, it was necessary that the word of God should be spoken to you first. Ain't that what you taught just a few minutes ago, that's about right. 20 minutes ago? Uh -huh. uh, when, they had uh, to go to the Jews Matthew, first. Uh, Chapter 10, yeah, verse 5. Yeah, yeah. That the word of God should be spoken to you first. But since you reject it <laughs> and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, behold, we turn to the Gentiles. See, but that ain't good enough. See, see, we ain't, I ain't going to let you outdo me. See, them Gentiles, they was really Israelites. Oh, well, ain't that what they say? Yeah, that is what they say. <laughs> we ain't going to have it no other way. We'd we rather make this, the Israelites be the Gentiles, but we let you be right. Wait, wait. How you going to be the lost sheep whoa, and the, whoa, how you gonna be the lost sheep and the Gentiles at the same time? <laughs> that is, if that ain't the devil <laughs> working and people foolish enough, to keep Ooh. listening and buying this. Let me go. Let's wrap this up. Okay. For so the Lord has commanded us. I have set you as a light to the Gentiles that you should Who be. Who set it up? The, the Lord, Lord uh -huh. has commanded us. I have set you as a light to the Gentiles that you should be for salvation to the ends of the earth. So you just not get but you are only out the box. And this is why they're going through the tribulation period now because <laughs> they can't listen in their heart. <laughs> Now, when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad yeah, yeah. and glorified the Lord. <laughs> and as many as have been appointed to eternal life, believe. Yeah. <laughs> because if you've been a man of the law, I'd have been left out. <laughs> Guess what? They couldn't. <laughs> they couldn't keep it. We can't keep it. Did I let you finish that, Pastor? Yes, yes. Uh, let's go to the next one. Galatians 3.13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Now, who was up on, who was to us there? 
The, the Jews. Is the Jews. Uh -huh. Israel. Uh -huh. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Not according to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> not according to the mother calves. That's because he <laughs> preached Jesus. <laughs> and and not according to them little long rangers that run around the city that they ain't in no camp. <laughs> Crazy. And all of them still. Smoking weed and drinking every yeah, day. Yeah. Thinking that they run around with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Having become a curse for us, for it is written, Curses everyone who hangs on a tree, mm -hmm. that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Mm -hmm. Romans 9.23 And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had prepared beforehand for glory. Even us whom he called, not of the Jews only. <laughs> no, Pastor. Pastor, see, it's red. See, you added that there, Pastor. I, oh, man. <laughs> Wait a minute, you said this was my lesson. You didn't even, I didn't even know. I just came but you in. knew it was in the scripture. I know it's in the scripture. <laughs> not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. <laughs> As he says also in Hosea, I will call them my people who were not my people, mm -hmm. and her beloved who was not, who was not. Be loved. So if you get mad at Paul, you got to get mad at Hosea too. That's right. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just get back mad at Jesus. Uh, where no, he get yeah. his gospel from. From Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Paul quoted Isaiah 6, 9 through 10 in verse 27. And then he goes here. Right, Acts right, 2, 28. Right. Uh -huh. Therefore, let it be known to you that the, that the salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles and they will hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had a great dispute among themselves. We know who everybody is here. They just laid it out. Here's this group, here's this group. Here's what this one did, here's what that one did. Is that hard to see? It's not hard to see. Do I have to be a, a Bible scholar to understand that? No, you're not. Yep. And it's telling me worried about you. I can be thinking, Lord, thank you that you, you didn't walk past me. Exactly. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Isaiah 42 and 6. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand. Mm -hmm. I will keep you and give Wait, you. Pastor, who is the, is the you in, in this passage here? I, the Lord, have called Israel. Israel, right, right. In righteousness, yeah. and will hold your hand. I will give, and I will keep you, and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles. They supposed to understood this already. Already, but see, being envious and greedy and prideful and thinking that you're special, mm -hmm. how do they rub off on these guys? <laughs> <laughs> they, they read too many books. They read too many chapters and seen how they was acting and said, "Well, this was this must be how we supposed to act." Mm -hmm. I can't understand that. Mm -hmm. The IUIC manipulates and misrepresents the gospel. Therefore, IUIC teaches a perverted gospel. Galatians one and six. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from Him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel. Which is not another, but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. So even though in their title, Israel united in Christ, even though they got it in there, don't be deceived. That's right. <laughs> uh, uh, church of Scientology got church in there. Christ, uh, Christian Christ science. science got Christian. Yeah. <laughs> Devil always wants some of what God got. That's right. Mm -hmm. Constant. Mm -hmm. The IUIC it says, and it, and it, and it is as if they're crying, give us Bishop Nathaniel, the Barabbas of today. Away with biblical Christianity. That don't sound like what many of them say. That's exactly what they say. We, we, we go with the truth. We don't want that. No. You, see, but see, you have to understand, Pastor. Mm. This is the WWWF wrestling generation. They want them, they want some of them, what you call them things? Menards yeah. on their own. Yeah. They yeah. want some of them in yeah. and some gold cool. They look how cool they look. They look cool. Uh, they on don't the way look to cool, hell. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be cool. Your, your beard ain't long, hey, Pastor. Pastor. I'm gonna be cool in heaven. <laughs> And for me, I ain't got nothing. Hey, listen. <laughs> listen, I ain't listen. got time for that nonsense. Did you read that? John 18, 40. Then they all cried again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Hey, you a robber? He's a robber. <laughs> Still in using God's word? and a liar. Yeah. Yeah. 
John 19, 5. Then Jesus came out wearing the crown of the thorns, the purple robe, and Pilate said to them, Behold, the he man. He tells you where he got the idea from the color, color from. Exactly. Uh -huh. uh huh. Matthew 27, 25. And all the people answered and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Is that a true statement, Pastor? That's true. Statement. Yes, it is. That's if you're taking your children to study that slop and you're That's teaching right. them to go through all that, you understand? Know you're saying, I, uh, 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 His blood be on us. Christ's blood be on us. Mm -hmm. huh? Because you're crying for, for, for Nathaniel, uh -huh. the Barabbas of today. That's right. And any other group that you take and do that, when the Bible is clear, we wait on Jesus to fam them. We wait on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Through sickness, we wait on Jesus. Through whatever come, what, what the boys say, if, if uh, when they get ready to be thrown in the, the front of fire, if our God don't save us, we still going to praise him. him. That's right. Amen. Yeah. James Amen. lost his head for the gospel. That's right. See, see but, but, but then hoodwinked us so much uh, that you can name it and claim it and you can... What kind of thief come in and rob his people and then claim that he is out there helping them? <laughs> Yeah. But you came in to rob them. Mm -hmm. You might as well just be another drug dealer pushing mm -hmm. poison to your people. Mm -hmm. Because if you can, listen, it, it's worse. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you can get off drugs, mm -hmm. but you can't get out of hell. That's right. I, I say that in the thing. I was looking good. If you'd ask me what I say, I'd tell you, yeah, God and I go to give you a list. God got me off drugs, did this shit. Mm -hmm. But as far as who Jesus was and all that. Based on what I was talking, I'm not pointing. Even though, because every time I point your finger, you got three fingers of thumb pointing back. Because I should have been reading Amen. instead of just going by what they were saying Amen. and whatnot. Just read nine. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> the white can't get me to go to bed. That's right. I'll read. I'll sneak it in. And I just knew she was gonna say something to me. She said, "I wasn't even no bed." She thought I hadn't went been to bed and, 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 and got up. I'm, 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 I'm walking. Tell me, I said, I know she's gonna know I've been up all, all night. All night. She had any gene, you know. <laughs> what I said. So she was sleeping, you yeah. still working. Yeah. The truth about slavery. Okay, now we go. Now this is key. We coming wrapping this on down. Yes. So, so that's what they were. They everybody talking about the truth you came into. Well, you want to talk about slavery? White folks were not the only ones who owned slaves. That's right. Black people were not the only ones who were in slaves. That you want some truth? That goes some truth for you. Jews owned slaves even during biblical times. Go some truth? Uh-huh. And finally, if you're not in the truth of Jesus Christ, John 14, 6, 14, 6, all other truths are obsolete when it comes to salvation. Amen. See, now that, all this I got from their website. Then they got on that a true image about Jesus Christ. Well, we already deal with that. Well, let's see here. There is no black, white, yellow blood. We are saved by the blood. Amen. Uh -huh. If the image of Christ is not holiness and pure, they're all wrong. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now, now, that, now draw me a picture of that. Right. Can you show me that? Yeah. Holiness and righteousness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jesus was sent as a Jew, but he said the flesh profits nothing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If Jesus Christ is not your truth, you will die in your sins. John 8, 24. Mm -hmm. So now all these truths, that the, the truths that they got out there on their website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And it says, Israelites are Israelites and blacks are not the only oppressed people in the world. Uh -huh. Blacks oppress blacks, etc. True statement in that, Pastor. True statement. Uh -huh. Whites oppress whites. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ said, blessed are those who are persecuted and oppressed for his name's sake. Uh -huh. Matthew 5, 13 through 12. So which truth do you want? Uh-huh. That's right. Amen. And they, they, got, they, want, they want to make sure they cover everybody. They got the truth about the Indians. And I didn't even use all of the truth that they had up there that they're going to bring you in. What he said in the beginning, so you can see what I see. So let me all. ask you a question. Uh -huh. If they give me a plate for the truth, what am I doing? <laughs> Lies for dessert? I mean, what's really going on here? But we see that he lying and don't know how to interpret yeah. scripture uh -huh. at all. Uh -huh. So uh, basically, all you're getting is a plate full of lies. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So the Indians and Mexicans. Uh. So Indians and Mexicans are not the only oppressed people in the world. Uh -huh. God sent his son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Uh -huh. The church of Jesus Christ, Jew and Gentile, includes Indians and Mexicans. <laughs> Jesus Christ said, blessed are those who are persecuted and oppressed for his name's sake, Matthew 5, 13 through 12. Uh -huh. The truth about Thanksgiving. Without Christ, those who celebrate and those who who don't will go to hell. <laughs> Without Christ, those who do or don't eat pork or turkey go to hell. <laughs> the Bible does not forbid family 
coming together and giving God thanks on any day, he is the center of attention and gets the glory. 1 Thessalonians 5.18, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And then you know they had to go to the truth behind Christmas. Uh, the truth behind Christmas. Well, without Christ, those who celebrate and those who don't will go to hell. Mm -hmm. Gift givers and those who don't will die in their sins if they don't believe in Jesus Christ, the man, the person, and his works. If the angels can sing praises at the birth of our Savior, then surely man can come together on an agreed upon day to celebrate the birth of him that they are the beneficiary of the gift of God. John 3.16. Amen. Mm -hmm. 1 John 4, 9, And this the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. See, they, they, in other words, the devil got you focused on the wrong stuff. Well, what the day? Was it winter? I don't know what day it was. The Bible don't tell me what day. Tell but you. one day we know he was born. Amen. It tells us he was born in a manger. Amen. Uh, uh, well, if you want to be like him, how come you ain't born in a the manger? There you go. <laughs> how come ain't no cows and sheep around you since you want to be so technical? Right, right. I often get a story of, of my mom. All my life, and I won't say the exact date, because she's gone on, but all my life, uh, my mother's birthday was the day before mine. Mm -hmm. Right. About 35, 36, because back in the old, old days down south, they didn't keep good records. Mm -hmm. Come to find out that some kind of way they had, they had, uh, the records had got switched with her birthday and my auntie's birthday. So now my mother's birthday was in January. And uh, all my head now, it was easy for me to know what my mother's birthday was. Right. Now I got to readjust. But one thing about it, she was still my mother. Right. That didn't nothing change anything. Even though the, the birthday was off, didn't, Amen. didn't know, it still didn't change the fact. She was my mother. Amen. John 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Mm -hmm. uh, the truth behind Halloween. Mm -hmm. Without Christ, those who celebrate and those who don't will go to hell. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> there you go. Those who pervert the gospel of Jesus Christ might, Christ might as well celebrate their cult, same bed. Mm -hmm. If the angels can sing praises at the birth of our Savior, then surely man can come together on an agreed on that one. day to celebrate the birth of him mm -hmm. uh, that they are beneficiary of the gift of yeah, that, God. Yeah, that one with the other one. Right, right. right John right. 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Mm -hmm. The truth about Mother's Day. <laughs> and, and do I really need to go there? But we're going we, we gonna to go there. Uh, you do what you want, because all them folks that take good go talk and this stuff, I bet you they're getting their mama a gift. Oh, of course. I bet they're doing things for their mama. If the phone rang, that they're out the door. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You're a good son, because I know the things, I won't go in detail, I know the things that you have to do, and you're still trying to do the will of God, and you're going to see about mom. Let's my come and go tell you. <laughs> you better get out of my face. Exactly. Right. I, regardless of what other folks might have did it for, one thing about it, she birthed me. Exactly. She Amen. the one to wipe my behind. That's right. She the one that set up with me all, mm -hmm. during the night and, and cried. Mary, the mother of Jesus, did not abort him. No! <laughs> oh my, God. my mother did not abort me. Uh -huh. Amen. Exodus 20 and 12. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. God tell me to recognize my mama. <laughs> right. Ephesians 6, 2. Honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with promise. Right. And I, and I wanted to make sure it was the comment back there, but we kind of covered already. So, command, you can take things as a law, but, but when you go back to law, this is in the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. It didn't say the Tenth Law. No. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> good little father. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Right. And and, and, and Mother's Day and any other day, my mother's gone on to be with the Lord, and I accept that. Mm -hmm. But and, and I don't wish for what, what can't be. I accept what God did. But don't tell me on those days, and not even on that day. Sometimes you know, I said, I get ready to call Mama, mm -hmm. and, and, and I have to remember, oh, I can't. Yeah. Can't you, know, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you can say what you want to say and make it look yourself look like you knowledgeable. I got some deep, the deep truth or whatnot. All you is is a bag of. <laughs> Let me go ahead on. We call it dumb. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
uh, the, the truth you came into Azareth. And here they talk about the facts about Christopher Columbus and whatnot. When it comes to my salvation, I ain't worried about none of that. Use the Bible to find the biblical real Jesus. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Use the Bible to find the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. Use the Bible to find correction and reproof. Uh -huh. Use the Bible to find comfort and hope. Uh -huh. Use the Bible to learn about sound doctrine and what to avoid. <laughs> you, I, you, I see. That's right. <laughs> Use the Bible as a lamp to order your steps. Uh -huh. John 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It all goes back to, to, to him. And then we, we made it through the whole thing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We're working hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so IUIC, uh, the GMS, and... And me and Pastor be laughing because it's like they burn a new one is born. Every day. <laughs> They're like roaches. <laughs> Let's <laughs> keep on coming out. <laughs> so uh, I hope this has helped. And if you want the, the tape, like I said, because our goal is not to, to put everything they, they say out there because you can go out there and see it. But our point of it is when you take and use the Bible, you cause me to have to step up. You know, and so that's where we, we're, we're, we're coming from. So with that, Pastor, you want to close us out in prayer? Sure. All right, well, it was good, good information, and we just gonna pray out because this has been a long day. So, Lord Heavenly Father, we just thank you right now for all for all those who tuned in. Lord, we just thank you for all those who will stand up and contend and defend the faith. Lord, we uh, thank you for. Uh, disrupting another one of these false cults lord and we also pray that we get more laborers to go out and do more work so that more lives can be saved but we also pray that um all men and, and as many as possible will receive your son jesus christ as their lord and savior lord we uh also ask for uh, traveling mercies and uh your mercy and grace on all those right. who are around lord jesus in your most holy and precious name i pray amen amen god amen. bless everybody Being a man is a choice, not because you wear the pants or the bass in your voice. No, sir, it's much deeper than that. As a matter of fact, now that this domestic violence issue has been brought to the forefront, I'm going to have to be both transparent and blunt. You see, I know what it's like to try to control someone else's life because you can't control your own. Going to church every Sunday and God's trying to remove you from his throne. Like to be a cosmetic Christian, to front like you up, but your spirit is torn down. Saying hallelujah real loud, but your soul is still bound. So you hide your fears and inconsistencies behind a mask of anger. Treating the ones you say you love like a perfect stranger. Now she's in the kitchen afraid for her life. Just a cheap spiritual paint job over an old ragged life. So I'ma have to call you out. strong and true isn't there something we need to do have you withdrawn your eye from god's view so there is so much undone work to do have you considered your job to be through christian man where are you is your help meet by your side or is she forced to the front while you run and hide are you wrapped up in your natural pride simply unwilling to serve and stride let me bring some clarity to this point many women's hearts do bleed in hopes a real man would take the lead. Christian man, where are you?
yourself these questions to thine own self, you must be true. Christian man. Yeah.